after you. Oh, good evening. I'd like to open the Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting April 23rd, 23rd. Sorry, yeah. at 6 p.m. in the municipal offices. And uh, yeah. so the Finance Committee uh, meeting will begin at 6 o'clock on 423-19. Um, I didn't. I didn't really check. Do we have uh, minutes from the last meeting? Yes, yes. on back of the agenda. We got to find it first. On the back side. Okay. Okay. So if we can take that up, uh, get that out of the way. Any discussion? Could I have a motion? I make the motion to move the minutes of April 16th. Moved. I'll second. Seconded. Uh, no, I got a correction. Okay. Okay. On the, um, where was it? On the insurance? Yeah. JPAC and JPAR review general liability offset for SCIMS and JPAR. Yeah. Uh, JPAC wasn't here. Oh, that's right. But you you guys reviewed it together. No, it was oh, just I me. That's what you said. No, it's just me. Just you. We we were both concerned about it. Ah, I gotcha. But I'm the one that did. No, nope, that. that's fine. So what did you find out? Um, the SCEMS liability is included as part of the general and li general and umbrella liability of the town. It's what's it's all part of it. Yep. And that, the premium for both those liabilities, general and umbrella, is based on town's revenue. Oh. So okay. because of that, you know, SCEMS is maybe 500,000 over 15 million times, whatever the premium is. Yep. Yeah, so it so hasn't changed. It's, not a, it's not a big difference. No, okay. it hasn't changed from last year. That was basically the yeah. same. I, I think that you know, it was one of those things where I forgot what the amount was, $100. And $200. $200, $200, and it was like, it's well, that's, so it was like, right. it should be more, but, mm -hmm. you know. But that, I mean, that's part of our indirect cost <clears throat> that we get yeah. back, so. But, I mean, John, John looked at it, because I think you probably thought it was. Mm -hmm. John, both Johns both thought it was too low. Yeah. yeah, well, we all thought it was kind of. Yeah, low. I did too, but, but yeah, I, well, I'm both one of both, but. We either, <laughs> well, thank you for, yeah, thank for checking it out again. Good. It, it was the same as last year when I checked it out. It was okay. Any other? Uh... Well, he concedes your point. I don't. Okay, good. <laughs> well, I well. Just after running a business for forty something years, and knowing what I pay thousands of dollars every year to run a business that brings in two or three hundred thousand dollars a year, it just seems very lopsided. No matter how you look at it, that they can turn around and get a policy or an insurance charge for liability for 50 bucks. They don't, it's not charged to them, it's charged to the town. Yeah. And, no, it's, inclu and it's included in the town's general liability. It's if part they, of it. If they were their what own entity. What I'm saying is that liability, you go to get any other liability policy, you get a liability on your house policy, you can't buy a policy for 50 bucks. That's my issue. Or I think they well, I guess the town did a good town. job getting the liability premium. Well, we'll remember not to hire you to do our negotiations for liability <laughs> policies. <laughs> I mean, that's why we moved our insurance a couple of years yeah. ago, John. Okay. Uh, any other? Uh, corrections? If there are none, all of those in favor of the minutes with, as Aye. corrected? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Water Extension? Pressure. So five zero one. Okay. All right. Not, who's not here? Allison. Oh yeah. Allison's not here. So the purpose of the meeting tonight is to uh, go over the warrant for the annual town meeting and uh, with the board of selectmen so that we can all be on the same page. Would you, would you do me a favor and just revote the police payroll? Just do that for me first before we move forward. I 
Anybody have any objections? Do it again? Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you. Same increase as last year, two percent. It, it's an additional two percent over what what their steps were. Yeah, so it's a two percent. Well, last year it was only a two percent. There was no steps. Okay. So it's just two percent yeah. this year. Right. Okay. okay. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't remember. No, they, no, they, they, they each move up a step, yeah, they have but steps in, the in, in addition to that, the, the new contract right. allowed for a 2% COLA. Right. So, so that, that was just added. It, it made a difference of $8,677. Yeah, the, the select board just well, settled the contract. something, this, it's quite different than that. If you look back to 18 <coughs> and versus 19, under um, the fourth one downs, in 18, it was 51,741. It was a 2% increase to 19, 52,993. Now the 20 is going to 55,544. So that's more than 2%. Okay. Yeah, they went up a step. Plus the, so guy, plus, everybody, plus the contract, the new contract allowed a 2% so And a step. Correct. Well, right. So we had already no, figured no, in the step that's, increase. It's not right. There's, that was already done. Just because that's that was in the old contract, so now with the new contract, they're they're getting an additional two percent cola. Correct. Those steps have been in the contract. We just renegotiated the contract, and the board just um, settled it, and um, so the two percent is added to the step system, just as it was in the town side, um, and they uh, they Five. are ratified at the two percent for. Yeah, it's two, it is two percent of what it was. You, Two percent more. Fifty-two. Four. So no step. They get a step based on uh, performance. It's in the contract. Anybody can look at the contract and see that that's the language in there, and it does it does indicate that they get steps, and it has the language about you know what the requirements are for the steps. <clears throat> They've gotten steps since we've had. Right. Since the origination of the contract, it's never, yeah. it's always been that way. It's just the only thing we negotiate is the COLA. Okay. Uh, any more questions on the, the police payroll budget? If there are none, could I have a motion? I'll move the uh, I'll move that we approve the police payroll budget of eighty-eight hundred and forty-nine thousand three hundred and seventy-two dollars. Is there a second? I'll second it. It's moved and seconded. And as I understand it, this represents the uh, contract that I, I don't know whether the selectmen have approved the contract yet, but uh, I assume that you're going to. Or I don't think we told you it yet, but it's. Um, right. But I think it's been right. negotiated. We, I don't think it's right. voted. The yet. financial, the the components of it have been settled, but the language is being integrated by town council. So then there'll be a signing, and the board will sign okay. it, you know, to to finalize. So all of those in favor of the uh, police payroll budget, say aye. 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 Opposed? One abstention. One abstention. So is that uh, six zero one? Yes. Okay. So, Diana, where would you like to start? Um, well, the packet, I, had, I believe I'd sent out a packet draft yesterday, so um, I did give you a new one today um, that's hole punched when you were seated in, seated in your places. So let's use that one first of all, because I did make some minor changes to that. 
That's this one here. The one, yes, the one that when you came in was in your spots and is hole punched. Um, so at this point, all of this has been reviewed by town council. Um, it has been reviewed by bond council in terms of the frontier article. Uh, we're still waiting to hear from bond council on the sewer article. I had, we hadn't heard back by the end of the day today that I'm aware of, so we're still waiting for that. Um, but other than that, I think the, uh, we have all of the uh, articles in here except the snow and ice. I don't think we have a final number for that. So how would you like to do this? We'd take them one at a time and... Uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think there are quite a few, so I don't know whether we actually want to take an individual vote or, or so we can. Why don't we just go over them and, yeah. and if anyone mm -hmm. has a problem, just speak or hold up. Hold on it or whatever. Yeah, speak just up. speak up. Yeah, and then we can, get, then we can yeah. come back to them. Yeah. Is, that, is that acceptable to everybody? I'd just rather vote. Let me oh. see we discuss e meet each as it goes. You mean vote? Or the whole thing at once? No, each one. Okay. What do you think? Do you want to vote each one or do you want to just go and just say it's all, right. approve yeah. them all after you discuss? Well, we've we've approved most of them. Understood. Uh, Except there's been some negative votes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just to be clear, I hope it was clear in my email. I tried to make it so, but what i have in there and i've highlighted those are not your recommendations based on any discussion you've had this year i just left that in there because i basically just you know i updated a document so instead of taking them all out and then putting them all back in i just highlighted the ones i saw and and you know the ones that didn't ha weren't there last year i didn't add anything for so you need to you know we need to update all of those when i publish the packet make sure they're accurate so we could go through them and like put a hold and then vote on the ones we put a hold on? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah, sure. Much the same way that we do the town meeting. On the misbudget at town meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, article one. Article two. Wait a minute. I had a question. Sure. Do we, how do you want to do it? Oh, we're gonna, if, yeah. if, if, well, I if see. I guess on each. If you come up. If, if there's a question, up, yeah. just just put a hold on it. We'll uh, yeah. we we'll come, come back, back to it. Okay. Hold two, on hold. number one. Number two. I mean. Number two. Hold on number two. Okay. Uh, article three. Um, these are the gifts. Mm -hmm. Hold. Yeah. Uh, I need some time to look at these. Okay. I mean, I, I we're gonna just as an example, I know we're going to come yeah. back, but just as an example, Article 2, mm -hmm. I'm looking at a difference in the amounts, and I have to go from here over to here. So to go through every article, I don't have, and you're going too fast for me anyway. <laughs> In Article Two, I can tell you the differences in the amounts. When no, but the point. My point is, it's yeah. vote on something that's different Does, from what you voted. Yeah, right. and, yeah. but and oh, I need I need time to voted? look. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought sure. you meant from last year. Yeah, so we'll come back to each one if you need. That makes sense. You say he doesn't have time to look at them between when you move it on. Move it on. Yeah. Oh, would you want? To yeah, I guess do, we're going too fast. You want to do me one at a time then, if it's yeah. easier? Yeah, yeah. I would just do one at a time. It goes till seven thirty, right? There aren't that many. Somebody. Yeah. Sure. So, I, so, so no, no one has a problem with Article One. No. Article Two. What's the? Uh, we'll just take some time to look. Question at it. on Article Two. Is there a question on Article Two? Well, I think you just wanted to verify numbers. Those changed from last year, right? In some sections. Yeah, there are some changes from last year. Right. The, the assessors. assessors the assessors' um, salaries have gone up. Yep. I think everything else okay, is so the same, about right? the moderator? The moderator went up 
A hundred bucks. Four hundred dollars is recommended. Right. I don't think that changed from last year. I think it was. Uh, I think it was four hundred last year also. It was. On, on this this right here it says three fifty. Three hundred. Well, it's three hundred plus. You see, oh, the second plus line oh. says fifty dollars per, oh, okay. per meeting. All we're oh, doing yeah. is is. is oh, oh, gotcha. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Because yeah. there might be two specials That's or something. Good. Thank you. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Per meeting. Okay. And then I. Uh, so on on Article Two, then that needs to be the moderators needs to be changed. No, no. that's my no. oversight. It says per meeting. Per meeting. No. So well, we must have, I, we must I, have I, fine. right. I the one I sent you yesterday. I did. I think I that was a minor change I made today. If you're looking okay. at yesterday's, but now to what I gave you today is accurate. Okay. So just as a note, where it says school committee members five, mm -hmm. um, that's four. Where are we? On article two. Right, because there's a chair and four. Yeah. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. Oh. Yep. Huh. So we've had it incorrect the last couple of years probably, huh? Yeah. Okay. Look at you. And is that Article Three? Uh, what was the? Uh, you had a question on that. Yeah, one. I, just, I just had a question on that. Um, what happens? Uh, Will you classify the donation, or however it is, from Frontier? I think Frontier puts into that one also. Okay. Into. They do, um, but it's part of their budget. I, we've not included them in the past. Right, we talked about them. We did talk, this, we they did donate about to, it. just toward the school resource officer, right? Yes, yes correct. Right. Oh, is that the line you're talking right. about, the school resource officer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I just... We had and a, I, and I, think, I think Article 3 was mostly set up for the nonprofits. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what we so, sort of okay. so as we discussed right. it, we thought we'd leave them out. I don't know if... if Okay, I was just curious because yeah. I do know they. they yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Presumably, we share in that cost at Frontier still. I, yes. <laughs> excuse me. At some point in time, some of the marijuana monies will be directed towards the uh, school resource office. We hope officer so. Officer as far as we funding. hope so. That's my that's, hope so. That's what Intention. we discussed right yeah. a couple of years ago. I'd sure. Like to, I'd like to see that happen. I agree. Yeah, if we okay. see any money come, absolutely. Um, I wouldn't hold your breath. <laughs> right. No, I, I understand what you're saying, but awesome. when and if. Does it always have to go into the general fund at first? Uh, but I think it does, but that's okay. It does remain in some. Any other discussion on Article 3? So this is uh, from April 15th to April 15th is, is what I've been doing the last couple of years as far as the donation amounts for that mm -hmm. Article 3. And the obelisk, money from Deerfield for the obelisk, was the, that was the gift from the class, right? And then there's um, CPA money for the other part right. of it. Yep. That the certain okay. class yeah, donated. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we we may want I don't know what class does the uh, the moderator takes care of this motion right or does anybody all of these things all these renditions have also been sent to the moderator so no but I mean said, as far as reading it on the oh, I think they oh, do I'm read sorry. the first several until we get yeah. yeah so maybe maybe the moderator needs to indicate that this is from April 15 to April 15. Oh, good idea. Yes, you yeah. could. Absolutely. Just in case there's a. Um, you could put a parenthesis April 15th to April 15th. You want to do that? After the 12 months. Maybe something no. like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't blame you. Yeah, okay. We'll figure it out. Okay. Okay. Anything else on Article 3? 
Uh, Article 4 is the uh, Tilton uh, Dickinson Library Trust Fund. Correct. And 85% goes to the Tilton Library and 15% goes to Frontier Regional for library use. And those two all add up, I assume? Correct. Okay. Any questions on comments? Questions on Article 4? Article 5. I have a question. Um, did we spend any money in FY19 under the these revolving funds? Oh, yes. And it was authorized by the, where's the money come from? Uh, well, for the recycling program, it comes from scrap metal revenues plus, um, okay. uh, uh, yeah, I want to say right. dividends yeah. um, okay. from. I got it. So okay. I got, I'm with you now. And then parks and recreation, it's the yeah. fees that they fees. collect. And planning. And the planning board, it's the fees that fees. they collect oh, for. the planning uh, board, okay. Planning board fees, yeah. yeah. So well, that makes sense now. So. Brenda, how much money is in that revolving fund for the planning board? Right now, very little. Uh, about 1000 at this point. What happened? What, what has happened to that money in the past that we collected from fees uh, from the solar projects and stuff? I mean, those checks were anywhere from 3500 up. There's, with some of the fees that you've collected were for specific peer reviews. And those get spent, and whatever doesn't get spent goes back to the applicant. But in the planning board revolving fund, um, I don't know that we've had any real big monies come in. And, and what we, we've spent, historically spent that money on, is the services that FERCOG provides by um, their person that comes and helps us with the planning board. Uh, meetings and, so the application and issues. Fees is what you're talking well, about? Well, yeah, the, the, the application fees in a lot of cases is only $250, but the land disturbance fees uh, yeah. for at least the last three projects were in excess of $3,000. Um, any monies that are spent on peer review is an additional bill to the applicant. So when I see that uh, there's very little money left, you say that. Uh, there should be about $15,000 that I can see, but I don't. I think from discussions that I've been involved in, I think sometimes the, the um, applicants don't get charged for the fees. I Correct. Well, My, there's been, I think there's been, you know, we'll have to go back and look at it, but there's well, been some, some challenges with calculating and, and providing the fees, I think. I well, do know that there was one case where the applicant didn't pay the fee, but it was never excused. I mean, it was. Right. Uh, we'll check on that. All right. And see on the solar ones. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions on Article 5? <coughs> if there are none, Article 6? That's a classification schedule. Um, we voted on that. You did. Yes. Last meeting? Last meeting? Um, on April 2nd, I believe. April 2nd, yep. Yeah. Do we want to use that, is, or do you want to revote it? The, uh, it seemed to me that up until at least recently, what was on the on the warrant was simply the amounts for grade one, grade two, grade three, without specifying the positions. And the question that the question that I have is that over time, some of these positions have moved from one grade to another grade. And I think if you do this and have the town meeting voted, you are locking in these positions. You are giving up your, the, the planning, the personnel boards and the select boards authority to move people from one grade to another. Well, that's twofold. The personnel board did not recommend this 
format, nor did they recommend the compensation plan schedule to the selectmen. So we voted already. I think it was four two zero. Mm -hmm. That's correct. <clears throat> so that, I mean, to me, it was it's already voted. But I thought we. If you want to change it. I thought the finance committee had. The indication is when we voted these that we talked about the fact that, that we needed to eliminate the positions mm -hmm. and do it for the grades, grades and steps. Um, we so did not talk about that. I don't think we did either. Really? No. I don't remember talking about that. Okay. Because here's, here's what we approved. Right. No, it's just the right the chart, not the yep. positions. No, that was no, no, no. It was oh, the positions were on it. Hmm. I know the positions were on it, but yeah. I thought we had talked about the fact that uh, that was notes. not that I remember. But. Would that inhibit you from adjusting that? Yes. I mean, you'd have to wait for another so. year. I mean, you come to bylaw at that right. point. <laughs> the, the town, the, the town is saying that the administrative so assistant, blah 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 blah, is grade three. So you're no, no. It doesn't say you're grade three. Yes. Yeah. So you're just so you're suggesting eliminate the position column and just use grades. Correct. Okay, that's easy enough to do. <clears throat> I don't think that is congruent with your bylaw. What it says is what your classification and compensation plan consists of in your bylaw. That's I mean I'm reading it. And it says that part of your plan is the allocation of the positions, and so I hate to to say it, but I think then that for the last 50 years, with the exception of the last two, we've been doing it wrong. Right. Well, Surprise. Not in accordance no. with your no, bylaw, I'm maybe. Not sure that the last two, we've been, wrong, I don't think the last two, we've been doing it right. The last, the last couple, last I mean, it, it says it talks about official titles. The titles of each set are, are set forth in the classification and compensation plan, and she'll be the official title. So, I mean, it just seems to me that all the language in here infers that the plan consists of the pay scale, but then after that was incorporated, everybody was, all the positions should be allocated, and then that becomes part of the plan. And well, I can remember when I was, it wasn't that long ago, when I was a member of the, of the personnel committee, and we moved a couple of positions. We couldn't have done it with this. Well, I think that this, I, there might be some language in there that does allow the personnel board to do that, yes, though. Yes, there is. I think well, during the year, with yes, the, but it has to be approved review. by the person. You know, has to go through. But the, the word classification describes yeah. the person, unless you have a general classification for. Grade, well, it's a plan classifying certain positions exactly. in the service of the town. So if your plan doesn't include the positions, then it's not really. The classification and compensation plan in accordance with All the All is the classification plan. It's right. just the compensation plan, right? Compensation plan. Right. That's Correct. Right. That's what. That's my uh, I agree. Not a interpretation. And what the what the finance committee recommended was what you have. Well, not technically. <clears throat> the personnel board recommended a different. You recommended I believe something that I, different. I would to have to recommend. We just recommended. We didn't create the plan. <coughs> right. I mean we the just, money. All was. we made a recommendation right. on was. Steps the no step plan. in the impulse. Right. The finances, right. 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 We accepted the last plan with the step increase. FY19 <laughs> plan was accepted with a step increase and a call for anybody at step 10 plus. So I believe that this is what we looked at when we reviewed it. So I think you're right. I have a question too. On, on grade one, how come there's no category for like laborer, or stuff like that? If the highway department wanted to hire someone to mow lawns or to, you know, work for the highway department, there's nothing. They would have to go right to grade two because that's the only as a heavy equipment operator. Yep. They probably laborers, I think, but they've done stuff too. That's not right. No. I think they've had their hoisters license. Though. No, it's supposed they hire a guy to just no. shovel sand. No, I think they have. We don't. No, it's supposed they do. But if the they did, the town of Deerfield does not have any positions classified like that. 
all your labor positions are heavy equipment operator positions. I asked the same question when I got hoisting, here. Hoisting, they all have to have the hoisting license. <clears throat> yeah. And so don't the janitors at the high school know? They're not part of this. I know. The expectation is they're all going to be I heavy equipment operators. I haven't even seen the uh, compensation oh. classification plan. Hmm. I would guess it's not very much. So what do you want to do? Do you want to keep it the same, or do you want to I eliminate think keep it the same. position? I don't know. I, uh, I'd have to go back and look. But if we have for years a schedule that didn't list the uh, positions, then I would prefer to do it that way. That's my preference. Uh, mm -hmm. If you could label grade six, go ahead. if you could label grade six as department heads, that would be sufficient, but you can't. You can't put a label on each grade, so that's why it's done this way. I think, I mean, Skip, I would just ask you to review the bylaw, because I mean, I think everything in here indicates, I mean, the start of it basically says the plan itself is, you know, Classic. plan classifying certain positions, and it goes on to talk many times about the allocation of the positions, how they are put into the, the plan. So I think, again, if, if you're talking about a classification and compensation plan is what's going to town meeting, and, it, and that's how it starts with the bylaw. It says this is a cl classification and compensation plan in accordance with Mass General Law, so then it, that's what this is. Is there a vehicle during the year when circumstances arise and you need to decide, do you have to wait for town meeting to to move that, or is there a vehicle? No, the no. In, in the bylaw, it says it. such <laughs> said <laughs> board and heads right. of departments may, with prior approval of the personnel board, change mm -hmm. its allocation. So right. it doesn't so have a process to. to the, pro the, the thing, the plan what should would, go to town meeting. You know, you know, again next be, year, but during well, the year. Be more beneficial to the people in town is if the step was also noted. That the would, step doesn't apply to the positions. That applies to the people. We don't do right. a plan have, that identifies the people, just the positions. Okay. All right. So. I'll buy that. I think your bylaw, if we're interpreting correctly, uh, justifies leaving it as is. Mm -hmm. it, it gives I you the too. flexibility. And as long as there's right. an avenue, and, and then you take it, it to town right. meeting next there's year. There's a process it. there set up. And all you have to do is simply follow that process, right. and it works, yeah. or should work. Mm -hmm. Will it take a little bit of time? Maybe. But that's the purpose of it, I think, right. is to make sure you have a process in place. And that seems to make a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So, I guess... This, this is more in the, you know, ours is simply a recommendation one way or the other, but right. it's, it's up to them. It's not a unanimous recommendation, but it is a recommendation. But mm -hmm. I, the point is that it, it's more, more in your court than it is in ours. Uh, I would just leave it then. Okay. I mean, that's just my opinion. I'm happy with that. I think so too, and as long as there's an avenue to discuss stuff through the general process, through a, a board that's um, appointed also, to look at this stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think the personnel committee should have made a recommendation on all of the money articles also. I think it says that in the bylaw also. Hmm. That had anything to do with salaries. It would have been every on omnibus item that had a salary in it. The, uh, it seems to be that the personnel committee makes recommendations to the uh, selectman. Sports select. That's correct. So I think that the moderator ought to ask the personnel board chair if she is there what her recommendation is for this classification compensation schedule. What the what the board's recommendation was. N not just our finance committee. <clears throat> Does it say that in the bylaws? Yes. Take a look.
what it says. Okay. Any further discussion on uh, Article 6? So are, are we leaving that as our Finance Committee re recommends? I guess. Unless you want to re-vote it. No. no, I don't. I just ask you. It's fine with me. It's, it's fine not, with me. Not no. unanimous, but. That's fine. Uh, Article 7. This is redundant um, it is um, it, it's the way that you uh, indicate that you've ratified a contract so you do an article that basically funds the first year of the contract but the money is contained within the omnibus budget but it's just an indication to town meeting that you've ratified a contract and this is the way we're, we've always done it um, well, I don't know because this is you didn't do it in the last couple of years, so there wasn't one for last year. But I asked council for an article, and they gave me one. This is when I did collective bargaining agreements. We always had an article in other communities that I worked in, and I asked council if there should be one, and they said yes. And this is the one they provided. You do one for the school. We should do one for the school. We should do one for all union agreements that are ratified by the select if board. The collective bargaining agreement wasn't. If the town until didn't vote after the town after the town meeting, which is not. You have to still vote the first year of the. If the money was in the budget, then it I'm not sure. But if it needs to be in the budget, it has to be voted. The I'm not sure. What did you say? I I, I got it. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I'm the one that asked the question. The so, Frontier and Deerfield have made a statement, both of the public hearings, they've included money for collective bargaining increases. They're not going to say what it is. They believe they've done a conservative estimate of what it might be. They've included money in the budgets. The question is, we can't put a money article and be exact, because those collective bargaining agreements won't be done until after town meeting. So what would we do in that case? You hold a special? You, well, it, well, again, it's if only it if wasn't it, if in there? If it's outside their conservative well, If it's outside the budget, the yeah. money they, they had allocated, I would think you got to more yeah. Right. Yeah, if you don't need to do it, I mean, you know, but I think if you were going to take it to, you know, if it was ready in time, it should go in a separate article, and it should have an amount. Because that is supposed should, to be yeah. an indicator to town meeting of what your contract looks like. I mean, we've done this in the past where there wasn't money to in the in the in the budget to mm -hmm. to cover the cost. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I suppose I could have just put it in the budget and not you know not had a separate article. The the statute says that pursuant to I mean the 150E7 says that you just have to fund the first year. Like town meetings funding the first year of the contract is indication that they ratify the contract. But I think that it's important Who that the board, the that, that they sort of approve the contract, I should say. Town and meeting, they, and if they don't approve then you have it, to go back. Then you have to go back and if they didn't vote that first year, then that sends a message to the board that they gotta go back and figure out that budget. They're not supposed to go forward. So they're not ratifying it. Then it's the town meeting that ratifies the contract. So no, no, it's just to get the funding. The contract would still be in place, but the board would have to go back and look at how to get the funding for that contract. Town meeting can vote that down, yes. The contract would still stand, but the board would have to come up with where the money was going to come from. I've had that happen in towns before. Why would we want to do that? You wouldn't. You don't. Don't then, do it. Just vote the article. Vote Article 7. It's how about in your we budget. Just vote the omnibus budget. Which no, vote the omnibus now. budget. You can, if you want to pass over Article I, I, Seven, I'm just, pass I'm over. Sitting it, the, no, I'm sitting here looking saying. at two different articles that essentially do the same thing, and we we we'll give ourselves the opportunity of saying yes on one and no on another, and it, it doesn't make sense to me to do that. Okay, so noted. I don't know what the selectman's position on it is. I mean, yeah. I hadn't seen it before, so. Um, this, I think it's new this year, right? 
Um, but if it seems to be what's new, having this uh, Article Seven, I don't ever remember seeing that in the last couple of years. We've not done this in the past. Correct. That's my point, I guess. I realize that whether the we've been police, doing it right police or wrong, are the first. Know. This is the first. Uh, yeah, there's lots of things that I don't think this community has been doing that that maybe should be done. So I guess you know I don't think and there's I any was, harm I was under in the doing impression this. That the selectmen were the ones who uh, did the negotiating and approved the, the contract that was <clears throat> negotiated. They absolutely did. And that the town was not in a position to disapprove of what the select board had done. Mm -hmm. And the same would apply for the for the school committees as well. Well, I don't think that's absolutely correct. I think they do inherently. Do you think the town, the town meeting has the authority to uh, disapprove of a contract that the selectmen have approved or that the school committee has approved? Um, not disapprove of the contract, but I think that they can, you know, as far as the funding, yes. That Just the funding, they, not the rest of it. Right. Correct. Right. Yes. And even, and as I said, it's also, it doesn't, upend the ratification of the contract it's just that it would have to be there would have to be a talk so about at the, the, at the next town meeting but i don't think it's going to be an issue in your community at all at the next well the issue is whether we have this in there or not at the next town meeting we have we have contracts the schools have contracts mm -hmm. so you're saying that at the next town meeting not an annual town meeting special town meeting is fine but at the first available town meeting there should be articles in those approving uh, something, labor and I'm contract? not sure what it is. You mean just labor or any contract? Labor I'd have, contract. To, I'd have to look at 150E7 if that, if that applies to them, but yes, I think it does. For collective bargaining, yes, I think it should. I don't know if it would be something that would say, you know, because it's got, it goes through the school committee, but yes, I think that, and that there's supposed to be some article that indicates that you're funding the first year of a new contract. That's my, been my experience and my understanding from, from collective bargaining in the past that I've done. So. In the 40 plus years that I've been involved with school contracts, uh, the town has, other than the change that we put into law, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago that the town could appoint a representative to serve on those bargaining committees, once that bargaining had taken place and the school committees had ratified the contract, that was it. If the town funded or didn't fund it, it was irrelevant. The contract still exists. Uh, I think this article is redundant and unnecessary. We haven't done in the past. Unless the lawyer says we have to do it, I say throw it out. I would, or bypass it if it's already just been Just bypass it, that's all. We can just get an answer from Lisa. What? On whether this is something that has to be done. Sure. It. Why don't we do that? Okay. Move on. Okay. Uh, any other questions on, uh, this was what, Article 7? Yep. Yes. Yep. We all agree on Article 7. Let's do wait. Article 8, I have the same issue as I have with the classification schedule. We voted as a group of salary increases. We never voted them individually. So the question is, does the vote that we voted for the increase of the budgets that included salaries hold for this recommendation? I, vote, I believe we voted as a committee to accept the changes in the salary schedules. Four two, four one. Because of it wasn't the because of the increase. Well right. it may not have right. been four unanimous. One, four one, it doesn't four have to two. be unanimous. Four two. No, I'm just saying but that's if we don't need a vote again. But the recommendation was four two zero. Just a note for minutes. So what would you like us to do at town meeting? 
Let the moderator take care of it. That's yep. what it says he's going to do. Read it one at a time. Put a hold on if you right. don't right. like it. Right. Mm -hmm. Solve it after, and then yep. take one motion at the end. Exactly. Yep. Don't change nothing. Yep. So we're all set then. Yep. We're all set. Yep. Okay. Article Article Nine. <clears throat> Just a second here. Um, that falls in the same that vote we that we had March? last meeting. Nine and ten on, on the same vote as last meeting. Is it the same amount? Yep. Oh, I have no idea what this is about. You're asking too much. There's <laughs> <laughs> a different amount. For the uh, Board of Selectmen, do you have any questions on this, or? No, I feel good. <laughs> and it's like, yeah. so, so, so. All right. It was in the second. So we it. can, we're all set with Article 9. Mm -hmm. Article 10. These are the funds that we voted, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Correct. Any questions on Article 10? Okay. Article 11. OPEP. You good with that? I am too, except I'll keep a running total of free cash. So we'll know what we've committed to at the end of the meeting. Can, I don't remember off the top of my head what percentage that 30 four. is 4%. Four be, I believe, it's, if it's, I remember right, 4% four four of what percent. we spend each year. Or the previous it's 4% year. of our total health insurance costs from the previous year. Correct. Okay. And that was started last year, the first yes. time, right? right. Yes. Correct. We were yep. trying to come up with a formula mm -hmm. that would give us credit for um, being fiscally responsible. We have a little ways to go there, but we're, we're moving in the right direction. <laughs> so article... We have a formula. Article 11, uh, Article 10 and Article 11, should those both have uh, Finance Committee recommends on those? Mm -hmm. you tell Nine and ten, you mean? We voted. Okay. Yeah, we've already voted. Yes. All right. Talking about 11. Right? 10 and 11. 11, yes. we voted mm -hmm. also. All right. We voted 9, 10, and 11. Yeah. Okay. And 12. Right, and nine, nine met, met, or says it already. Yep. Any questions on on uh, 11? I just got one comment on it. Yep. We've talked about OPEB for several years now. Initially, they said that uh, one of the philosophies was to start funding it because it'll look better. And uh, another option was to do nothing until we finish our retirement, bringing that up to date in 2033, and then we're going to start funding OPEB. I have no problem with putting money in for OPEB, but I think we're missing an opportunity with respect to scams. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say we're missing that opportunity is it's a three-town funded venture, and I think it's going great the way it is. And every year they come back with having 800 the $950,000 cash left over from their operation. And I think that's great. Mm -hmm. However, being an enterprise fund, every year we don't charge them a fund based upon the fact that they are an enterprise fund. We accept that liability, but yet we're not getting any money from Sunderland and we're not getting any money from Whateley. Mm -hmm. And to be totally fair, and that's all I care about is fairness. We should be charging them an OPEB fee, and we hire the town clerk, and the town clerk gets a study done, and the study says it costs $3,500 for every full-time employee. Mm -hmm. Based upon that, we should be charging them $31,500. 52% we pay ourselves, which is fine. But what I'm saying is we're losing $28,000. That's the way I look at it. That's it. A lost thing that you can't go back a year, two years, three years, or four years, or more. You have to turn around and bill them now 
if you're going to get it. So my point is I would like to ask the selectmen, next time, next year, I want them to include a fund for OPEP. I, I agree I, with that. I, I absolutely strongly believe that we are losing money because we accept the liability, but yet we're not charging for it. I agree with that, I'm, and I just want to study the amount, you know, and, and, and a policy of that. I know, I know it was said. It, I know and, it uh, said 3,500. Yep. Now, I don't, I don't care if you say 3,500 is high because personally I think that's high. If Agreed. you want to settle on a figure of 2,500 per full-time employee, yep. that's fine. Yep. Something be is something. better than nothing. I agree with that. John, I agree with you, but I think we'll have to do the same for all our town employees. Mm -hmm. Set aside that amount also. No, we don't have to. I think we will. Why would we have to? Because this is a separate to be enterprise fair? fund. Being a separate mm -hmm. enterprise fund, you can, you, if you don't bill them now, you lose that. The sewer also. The, mm -hmm. waste the sewer are all town employees. No. So, so I don't care if so you want to put it in, put it in. I don't care if you, if you want to be equal and fair, you can put it in. I, think I don't care about fair. that. What I'm saying is that the town is different than an enterprise fund. Enterprise fund, once a year goes by, you've lost it. You can't back bill. Mm -hmm. John, I agree with you 100%. We've already been discussing what figures to use for OPEB that would not be um, a penalty to the SCEMS operation as we're just starting up. We don't want to make it starting. a burden. No. They've well, been running for four or five years now. I know. And but we've it, had several years before that building up to it. So we can't use the excuse that this is new. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just saying that most of the employees are relatively young. We're, we're trying to figure out how we can bill a figure, which, as you know, I've been talking about OPEB for years, and we still are having a formula that is in the works here. We have, start, we have a formula. It's a start. It's not the right, correct number. So you can't charge a... a correct number to scams and not fund our own well, adequately. Yes, well, I think if you check with a lawyer, I think you can because the town accepts a liability. Once a liability is gone, because... Well, we're looking into the legal ramifications, John. All right, fine. Well, All I'm saying is that they have, since they have eight nine hundred thousand dollars cash every year, there's no reason you couldn't fund 30000 of it. And, and we've had a discussion at several of the skims meeting about that, but I think the proper place is just for Deerfield to come up with a figure and just send them a bill. And, yeah. uh, that's the way it should be done. Yeah. Um, but we have to figure out where we're going to set it aside and how we're going to set it aside and who's going to manage it. But they're all, uh, they're all town employees, so wouldn't it go into the same spot? It, yeah, it goes yeah. into the same fund. We yeah, have a I mean, fund ready to go. Yes, but again... You can't, this is, why would Sunderland and Waitley pay into the fund, John? Because and we're not guaranteeing a set of, well, we have to figure out a way to do a set aside for SCEMS employees. That's it. Yes. I, you know, I, I, I agree with John, though, and, yeah. and I really do think the sooner the better. Yes, uh, we are working I on know, it. I know it's, you know, it's a, it's a progress, well, it's, we are just we're working. Growing. Let's put it that. seemed like we're it was growing, more. It was right. more important to work on the lease mm -hmm. and get the lease sorted out right. this year. Right. Then we can work on no, the I open. Think, I think we're in pretty good shape. I think I think Skims is in pretty good shape. And it's really. I, I, it's done a really I agree good job. with John. I think this should be addressed. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I hate to see like what Carolyn just said. Skims had the lease since last August, and it it just got signed I think in January and voted on January uh, here again I I think that you know since all of the employees of that organization are town employees of Deerfield it it, it doesn't really matter we, sh we should just come up with whatever formula and it shouldn't take months to do that uh, whether it's five percent or whatever mm -hmm. and just send the bill along and, and that be done with it mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be that complicated no it don't that's why I said let's just do it I know and that falls on us. That's and that's not, why I'm bringing it that's up. That's not yeah. something fault or waiting. No, exactly. fault. I just that's, don't want to lose exactly. the money. That's us. So exactly. we've already lost the money for the last three, four years. They've been right. in existence. You're right. Yeah. And we can't back bill them. No. But let's at least start on the right foot. Thank this you. coming year. Yeah. Uh, 
That's all I have. We ready to move okay. on to the next one? I think so. You want to, did you want to? Repeat what you said so that we know what we're talking about. Right? No, I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna let that secretary repeat. Uh, no, that. it's on video. I just, put, <laughs> right, I just wrote down and see video. <laughs> okay. Who's video? FCAT. Article, article 12. Uh, <clears throat> this is the capital uh, project plan. This is what we previously voted. Yeah. Yep. yep. And, and the figures, are, I assume the figures are correct that we have here. And again, this is this is a finance committee did recommend this, and capital uh, mm -hmm. improvement committee recommended it as well. So, yep. any questions on this one? Yeah. The only question I make sure that's what it is is the hundred eighty six three hundred. That's out of free cash. Correct. Yes. And that's, that matches. Okay. Thank you. The uh, two, I, I know someplace along the way we have talked about uh, the police cruiser not going through the capital improvement program. And I kind of would like to put it back there. Not, not that I want to you know, do anything differently with it. But it seems to me that it makes sense for the Capital Improvement Committee to review that and comment on it one way or the other. Uh, and it certainly is a capital item. Uh, and well, it's not, it's not a... We've been through this every single I know. year. Yes, we have. So that's and why... I I'm thought we it. sorted it out <laughs> three years ago. Um, and you sorted it out wrong three years ago. <laughs> well, <laughs> the only thing I can say is it's in the operational budget of the police department. And if you pull it out, it changes the operational budget of the police department. And, you know, I just, it's something that we as a select board, if we need to cut somewhere, we can, it, we can just make the cut. We, with this a year, we're going to skip the cruiser, whatever. Mm -hmm. Or if, a, if the board changes out, and they decide they don't want to spend as much time on the road and they don't want to pay for a cruiser, you know, at, at that rate, then that's fine. But to have every year come through is really, you know, a lot. It came here, be, did it, it, I'm just looking for history, it came here because every year it, it was, was the a, same, it was exact the same, same old, same old, so. It was, yeah. was a capital. And it was, it was every single year. You're not, it yes. does. So it just made yes. more sense to put it in as the an operating. Operational the bylaws for the CIPC state non-recurring expenditures. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and this is an every year thing. Yeah. Well, we reached the opinion that it was recurring, so we felt yeah. it was not subject to the CIPC. Well, the, how, uh, how for about that reason? every year the highway department gets a new truck? Sometimes it's a pickup truck. Sometimes it's a dump truck. Certainly, it's recurring. Piece of equipment. It's, yeah, it's every no, year. No, it's a different truck. It's a different. Well, of course, it's, it's not truck. the it's same truck. cruiser every single the year. The loader is the loader is the loader. In fact, it, it wow. takes ten or twelve years to to, to replace no, it. To the so point. So door hardware is, is, is recurring too. Everything is recurring. Yes. Yeah. So that's whatever. Well, if you, that's, if you want John no. to come in every year and fight with you. That's he, okay. He comes into the he comes into the he comes in finance talks, committee. He talks to you to the finance committee. I don't think it's I don't think it's, it's a big deal. Nice. It's the point is it is a capital expense. That's all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree with you, Skip. But uh, the first thing you got to do is change the bylaw. Yeah. Right. The bylaw right. specifically says non recurring. Well, we have non recurring. I, 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 I felt the same way, but it is what it is. Depends on the time. <clears throat> I think it needs to be. Non-recurring yearly, no. because I think there are things on the capital request that recur have been recurring for the last three years. I, I think year. I think though, like, like the door, door hardware, hardware, it was going to be a certain number of year project, right? Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? It's a three yeah. it got it was extended. A hardware, right? It got extended a year. Right. It did. I think it got. It did get go one extra year, right? So I that's think. a recurring project. No, no, no. It was a no, split project. No, we voted project. originally for the total. Right. Right. It was we were just split splitting over them. several well, years. Over four years, uh, three. No, 
we voted the total dollars in year one. We right, we and voted we total dollars in year one, and it was determined this year with the with the capital improvement committee that we were going to vote uh, on an annual basis. We were going to try to avoid the long term projects so that come up for a review every year, just in case finances changed and that. So uh, or we, just, we just felt yeah. right. We just felt as a committee that uh, instead of instead of voting a total amount and committing to that dollar, if finances changed two years or three years down the road and we didn't have those dollars, then it'd be a little unfair as far as a request, but we'd be committed to the dollars. So now, even though it may be a long-term project, we had determined that we'd be better off reviewing it on an annual basis and voting on it on an annual basis. As far as just for clarification, as far as the police cruiser, uh, that pretty much was determined with the uh, select board. That was above and beyond uh, the capital. Uh, you know the capitals committee when that when that right took when place. that was determined so uh, we just we followed suit with 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 that decision because we only make recommendations so mm. we're only recommend so are you recommending we move on yep I am okay uh, <clears throat> any other questions on article uh, 13? 12. 12. 13? 12. 12. Excuse me. 12, 12. we have plenty. 12. <coughs> article 13. I have a question. To me, the, the article reads that they can purchase the motorcycle. Doesn't say which one. Is it the one they're leasing, or is it a brand new one? Hmm. Well, I also, ha I also have some questions, too. I do, too. Well, more than that. But. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I do. That's so the I first one I think on. that needs to be resolved. <laughs> do you know? I can't say that I know. I assumed it was, was the one that we're I, leasing. I assumed it was the buyout of the lease. Right? That's, that's, that's what the request was. That's what it's being presented. The request was the buyout of the lease. Of the the lease be clear of the Should we add that's that? What, that's yeah, what came before the, the motion. Yeah, the motion we revised that motion. I believe I thought I'd sent this language to John, but so you would like it to say for the. Buy, buy out. out the lease. Buy out. No, for the yep. purchase of the lease. Yeah. Buy out. Buy of out lease. of lease. Okay. Yeah. So, so I guess my question is: is the finance committee has had no way of reviewing this thing because we just went by the uh, CIPC rec uh, recommendations of not recommending this. Yep. Right. So we were not uh, allowed any information to go along with this, such as how it's been funded in the past. Uh, what is the operational cost? Mm -hmm. uh, I understand that it is will not be put against the uh, longevity of a cruiser. Uh, that it's going to be in addition to the cruisers that are asked annually. Uh, and I think there's a whole bunch of questions that need to be answered. And before we go, you know, the town has already spent. They're looking for 13.5, and plus they've already spent out of the uh, budgets 5,200. So. Um, what was that again? Thirty-seven five. What, Pardon? What was that? The t this 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 article is thirteen five, mm -hmm. and out of town budgets, it's already spent fifty-two hundred. Yeah. And Where, uh, can you help me with that? Just that's uh, the cruise. Oh, the fifty-two hundred. Yeah. For for the cruise for, 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 for the cruise and the lease. Oh, okay. You know, and I guess I Where don't understand why it ever it's never it's came up two years ago to the capital improvement or anything else before expense. it was even leased if it was being used for the taxpayer money. It wasn't. It was. It was. I don't believe it was. No. It I don't think it came out of free cash or the original lease on the motorcycle. How was that funded? You've got the details. It was, I had heard it was in donations. It, yeah. That's why I had heard it was that, one, it that was, did not come to the much, capital improvement. Yeah, it did not come. It was well, funded with fifty-two hundred dollars out of the two ten budget and yeah. thirty-six hundred dollars in donations. Of which budget? Oh, the two ten number. Yeah, the, 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 the regular the operating budget. budget. The regular yeah. operating budget in two thousand nineteen. Uh, actually, Excuse through. Me. From two FY two seventeen, FY two eighteen, and two FY two nineteen. Combination makes up fifty two. What is it? Uh, uh, adding up to fifty two hundred dollars out of taxpayer budgets. 
And I'd, I'd like to know why it was never brought forward as a capital thing to begin with if, if it's been funded out of the budgets. As a donation, I can understand. But, and especially if it's not going to be uh, extend the useful life of any of the cruisers or anything else. And uh, So is the, finance, is the Finance Committee, are we going to make a recommendation on this? So it might just come out of it. Well, every article we're we're uh, we've been asked to on, on the article. Didn't uh, print out something that John I, had given. Fair I have a problem with it, and it I want to preface it by thinking oh, I think I we have a great police force. I do too. And, and Chief Pachurik was up front with the Capital Improvement Planning Committee. He said he was going to bring it to the select board to let the town decide. But I think it's unfair to the other department heads. Yes. What if some other department head comes in? I'm going to just use Kevin as an example. We didn't, the Capital Improvement Planning Committee said, we don't approve of the purchase of a mini excavator this year. What if Kevin Scarborough come in and say, well, I want to bring it to the town. Let's put it as a warrant on the town. And now where are we going to go from there? I just think this is a slippery slope by letting a department head have the town vote on something that the Capital Improvement Planning Committee said no, the Finance Committee said no, and now... We, we chose to not to vote on it. No, we voted on oh, it. Oh, did we? You, you yeah. Did, you, we voted, vote. we voted not to recommend it. It was yeah. zero for yay, three no, and three abstentions. My issue isn't whether we should get the motorcycle or not. It's the process of the select board allowing it to be on the warrant at the department head's request. Whether it be Chief Pachurik, whether it be Kevin Scarborough, whether it be somebody from the library, they're just, they're circumventing the process. And it's not fair to the other department heads. Well, there again, I, I, my, my issue is the finances. I said, I, I know we have to send, we, ought, we have to go through all special uniforms, so every time somebody leaves, we have to do that. They have to send them off to special training for motorcycle. Uh, there is no uh, record of uh, maintenance uh, cost, what it's going to cost down the road. It's already a two-year-old motorcycle. I understand it's a Harley-Davidson, which have long lives, but they also have a lot of expense to maintaining, too. Um, and I think we go back to what we've heard many a time, wants and needs. Do we need that motorcycle? I think we have, I think, four or five cruisers at, at, at will at every time, at any given time. And do we need another vehicle, especially if we're only putting on, um, I believe, what, two staff members generally, one in the north end and one in the south end or something like that? So that's my opinion. So are we not going to... We're not going to recommend it. Is that what you're saying, Skip? We're not, we're not taking any action on it. So we then, well, we should find the well, capital I mean, improvement committee didn't take, didn't forward it, so we didn't take any action on it. So, so. I, mean, no I think I was in abstention, so I was took to I wimped out on it as well. I, I, I mean, I'm I'm on the fence about it, so. Well, I, I, felt I, I think I think you made statements saying that you, which is true. Uh, you're putting your uh, force at a higher risk level, riding around on a two-wheel vehicle. Yep. And That's why I'm on the fence. Of that and, yeah. and things such as that. I I uh, feel like I'm not. Yeah, it seems to me like throughout the process there was a lot of indecision, which is how it ended up as a warm article and I don't necessarily think that's inherently bad because it did go through the process and that's how it got there. Um, I don't know if the finance committee, I'm not sure it's appropriate for us to, since it wasn't even presented to us to make a recommendation on it. Just my, my two cents there, I, I sort of think we should just skip over that one and move on because it, it ended up there for reasons, whether we love them or disagree with them. Um, I, and it didn't, it wasn't presented to us. Right, I agree with that and then yeah. I think after I listen to what you say, and I think you know, and I always think about votes after the fact, and um, I understand the question, the concern about a slippery slope. And um, had I thought about that a little bit further, 
I always think about things three months later, now this is a month later, would I have taken a different vote? I kind of felt my, in my gut, I was like, well, you know, let them make the pitch to the town and see if, you know, I, I thought it wasn't a huge amount of money. It's been used. I think there's been good positive feedback in the community with it. Um, I don't know enough about all the unintended consequences, like the training and this and that. Um, but I, I really take to heart your concern about the slippery slope. Then I'll think harder next time before I pass How it. How about adding to that and, and my fact that there was some responsibility, and I'm not sure whose responsibility, because the recommendation went to the Capital Improvement Committee in a timely fashion, but this went on the or an article yeah. in an untimely manner, I mm -hmm. guess. Like right at the last minute, right? Because mm -hmm. it went through, went through, went through, and yeah, yeah. I hear you. So that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> just, well, just, I mean, just I, for, for you know, in right. the future. Yeah. I agree. And, but I, I understand, John, and your um, concern about the slippery slope, and maybe that would have, should have. Been, I should have taken a stronger stand if I, if I on the capital though, committee. I think, I think the chief, to be in all fairness to him, and if I remember correctly, I sent out uh, emails to the couple of party members that we uh, did not recommend to inform them that there was a couple items that we did not recommend. And if I remember correctly, Chief sent back an email, not only to me, but to the town here. And I don't know if it's to Wendy. I believe Wendy was still on board uh, notifying people. And it wasn't just Wendy. I think there was other, I would have to go back mm -hmm. and check. But I think there was a few other people that were informed that he would probably take this route of bringing it to the town floor, uh, you know, for, has, for a yeah. vote. So, so I think I think people were aware. It just never really came up for discussion uh, with finance committee. They had asked, and we had just simply said, "Well, the capital improvement did not recommend a couple items, yeah. and that being one of them." And so I think it was determined at that point with the finance committee just not to take any action because the uh, capital improvement committee did not recommend. And I think it probably was that. As at our right. at our seat, we should have brought right. him in to justify it more to the public. And right, I, and, and I, I think I if people that. go back and mm -hmm. check their emails, I think they will see it. Yep. And I just I don't mm -hmm. want the chief to take a bum rap on no, this. I'm no, not, not at all. As far no, as not, not notifying, at all. No. right? As far as not notifying, because I I really do think that he did make an effort to notify yeah. people. He and said it right at the like, capital improvement planning committee. Right. He said, I'm going to put it, I'm going to put it in front and of the people of the town. that's why I felt like I should, you know, that I'm okay to pass it through to the town, but now that you've said this, you know, this concern right. with other department heads, well, I, and is it fair, and it's a valid point. So, I, and I do agree I with Bruce, because it could be a slippery slope yeah. here if yep. you're going to do it for one department. And right. Granted, this 13.5 doesn't seem like a lot of money. It could be something larger. But, right, yeah, what happens when all mm -hmm. of a sudden somebody's looking for 300,000 or right. whatever. No. Yep. You're right. Different story. Well, it, it doesn't really matter whether it's right. It's the principle in the process. Three hundred thousand or, or five hundred. Mm -hmm. The the pr process that we follow mm -hmm. has was changed. Mm -hmm. uh, we, just like, so, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I uh, uh, just wanted to go back to Bruce's point. Um, the police. The uh, Motorcycle was originally purchased, at least we were told, it was going to be purchased, we were told, that it was going to be purchased out of donations. And now they're coming back to the town so we'd use taxation from the prior year, free cash. The prior pay for three years. For the past three years. So the five plus now the 13 five is more than what they originally, I don't know what the price was. I don't yeah, know what the police either. The so so far in the lease, there's been eighty-eight hundred dollars paid. So we're we're they're asking we're asking the town now to take up the difference for a something a vehicle was going to be purchased with donations, right? At least used, leased with donations. 
Now we're asking the town to pay for it. So just, just a point of reference. Free cash, <clears throat> I think, is the wrong place for this amount. I miss. That's fine. Anyway, okay. Any other fur any further discussion on Article 13? So there's no recommendation from either capital improvement or the finance committee. Uh, Article 14. You have no recommendation. Well, Membership did no recommendation. We re recommend should. against it. Because that's no, what we voted. We didn't vote against it. I don't have enough didn't information. We didn't recommend one way or the other. So well, the it should say didn't. But yeah. Well, we. You just yeah. say no recommendation. Capital did. No, Capital no was recommendation. It. <clears throat> you should say no recommendation. Not oh, okay. that we did not recommend, but there is no recommendation. Okay. That's a tough mm -hmm. way to but somewhere along the way it should be noted. So, so when the when the moderator says uh, you know that there is no recommendation for the finance committee. It wasn't reviewed. So but Capital Capital Improvement Committee though or the capital well, did the not capital. recommend. Right. So that we, should we be did vote noted. It. So, so, so you have to go down like it well. to be published. The Capital Improvement Planning Committee does not recommend. Finance Committee has no recommendation. Did not make a recommendation. Right. Has no. Has not. Has no recommendation. Has on no side. recommendation. Okay. Is that all yep. right with everyone? Or or less? Article fourteen. <clears throat> $150,000 of free cash into the town's capital expenditure stabilization fund. Do we do we have that available at this point in time? We we are. That's that's figured in. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we get through this, do we have a total that's 234,000 that's left? Still. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, are we taking a running total of these motions? I, I've done it several times over the last couple of weeks. Because when I took a running total of the motions, I came up with 800 and something thousand. 868,604. Uh, of free cash left. Free over. cash used. Oh, used. Um, I've, oh, no. I've been through it okay. thoroughly. And this, <laughs> so when these motions, when you so, so the free motions, so. So the free cash used agrees with the revenue sheet that I gave you. A long time free ago. cash used is a million forty-four thousand oh eighty-two. Okay, so I'll have to yeah. find. I'll have to find what the difference is. Yeah, it might have been that you missed it. I, I, there have been a couple of times that I've missed it because yep. it got buried in, in the, um, the words. But okay, you said a million forty-four thousand. Yeah. It's uh, 082. Nope. 082. It's, that mm -hmm. is on that revenue sheet, right? Yes. Yep. Yep. Uh, that's that's day? assuming everything will be approved, including the motorcycle. Yes. Just, okay. just as a yep. worst case that's scenario. Right. Yes. Also. Okay. Uh, so Article 14, we can move on to Article 15. Uh, I just want to, yeah, I guess we can now. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say that we should increase it if we were really at 860,000. I would agree. Since we're at a million, I don't think we can increase it. Article 15. Uh, here. Kevin oh, will have the ice. Yeah. 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 Kevin, Kevin will have. You're right. Yeah, he'll Go have ahead. the. He'll have the numbers. I don't think they're going to be that much further off than this number. So long as this, this I assume there's some play in here. Mm -hmm. Positive yeah. play. In other words, it's not likely that Kevin's going to come through with anything other than. Thirty-seven thousand five hundred or less. Oh, it might be a thousand more. So what are we going to do with that? I uh, adjust the number. One four. Uh, no, I'm going to make sure that before we we print okay. this for town meeting um, that it's the correct number. So. Uh, I I don't think it's going to be more than forty. My my understanding well, was it could be. Once the bills are paid and stuff, it no, I, I understand. a thousand or two within this. It could be less, could be a little bit more. I would feel more comfortable if, if we were making a record because someplace along the way we've made a recommendation on this, I believe. Yes, yes. N knowing that the number could change a little bit. Well, not, not we necessarily that it was going to be less. Would we be better off saying 40,000 and then on town meeting floor, 
you've got coming in with the exact number. Brenda, Brenda will have the exact number. I will have the exact number on Friday. But you're missing my point. It, for the recommendation. So the question is what Our recommendation would be for 40,000 or less. Mm -hmm. And that you would bring a number in that was less than 40. And if you thought it was going to be 42, then we'd make the recommendation for maybe 45. Okay. Uh, that's, that's the point. My impression is not much, but if you want to have a recommendation, yeah. well, we, I would we could recommend it at 40, forty, and then I, I would recommend yeah. forty or forty-five. Yeah, I believe we've made a recommendation of thirty-seven five or whatever. Yeah. It's, yes, we yes. Did. yes. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to come in at thirty-eight thousand seven hundred when we've already made a recommendation for thirty-seven thousand five hundred. It can always come in less. Yeah, you always go to reserve for and transfer to. We well, do. It, it, it doesn't. Yeah. So no, I understand the reason that for that is to try to get this within the... Well, I'm just saying. It's quite nice. I think we'll just write. So, is it... Would Tom, you be... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We've got, we got multiple okay. conversations going on here. Diana? I'd be, you know, I'd be happy to insert 40 in the highlighted number and then put finance committee recommends in the narrative and then but I think what Brenda's saying is when we get to town meeting we will actually have you know a number in there. I, I understand yeah, that. But just at least so your recommendation is solid. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. we don't have to go back and revote it at town meeting because mm -hmm. it's not sufficient. Mm -hmm. We voted thirty seven five at the last right. meeting. That's so correct. now we're gonna have to revote it to forty. Is that now? something that we'll we can vote at our meeting before the annual town meeting? Uh, so we have the exact be. number of Friday. We get that number that night and vote it that night before the annual town meeting. What's I know it won't be in writing. But what's going to be in writing? What are the Friends voters going to see? In writing before the, meeting. the motion will be correct what is it? when we get to town meeting. Um, basically, the, I mean, I guess if you're asking, so the in, the idea is to publish, once um, I update it with your recommendations from tonight, my intent was to publish this town, the motions on the website tomorrow, and have copies available for people that don't, can't see them electronically. Mm -hmm. um, the town report is out to print, so we expect that back as well, and then we would print these for town meeting and insert them in, you know, as we do, and I think we've got 350 copies or something of the town report. So what would the finance so. committee like to do? That's how the intention of the publication. Do you want to raise it? Leave it as is. Raise leave it. Leave it as it is. We're off a thousand dollars. Big deal. Nice. Just bring it back to the reserve fund. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, don't mm -hmm. change. Article sixteen. I would like Please. to review every motion. So, okay. I was going to say, we're not making any recommendations on any of these. We're not? No. Okay. We haven't had a chance to sit down with the uh, CPC on these. Uh, and in fact, we've never done it in the past either. But I think it would be useful to do it in the future. Oh, well, I went to the public hearing. Yeah, I was there with you. I know. Yeah. yeah. At least on the first three. The last, well, the last four we don't have to really vote on. It's the first three is where they're spending mm -hmm. taxpayers' money. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Are you going to have something you can pass out at town meeting showing what the status is of the CPA funds? Mm -hmm. I think we've asked for that before. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should have. So they put it out and say, okay, we have $2 million and of $2 million, this much is reserved for open space, this much is reserved for the Indian house, right. this much is reserved for whatever else, whatever category. Okay. I, I, we've asked for that before. Several people have asked for it. Yeah, it makes and, sense. And I think that'd be good, useful information. Yep. Okay, we can get that out. Perfect. Yep. 
Thank you. You're welcome. So no recommendation. Okay, Article 17. What did we end up voting on Article 17? Um, Two separate amounts. Yeah. But for a total of 33,965. Okay. Yeah. Yep. We have a tickler on that number to um, just verify that the students are actually in the agricultural program. Not hired to do it, and they're not agricultural. It's criminal justice. Yeah, no, criminal justice. justice. Yeah. This is a criminal justice yeah. one. Okay. This, this one is a new program, I yeah. think. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. 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 You just got to make sure that they stay. Then what you do is trick, tickle it for make sure that they're, they stay in the criminal justice. Because if they take anything else besides the brand new criminal justice or the agricultural, then they can go to the tech school. We, sh we do not need to be paying for Smith folk. So the senior year they change and we don't have to pay for it the senior year, but we pay for freshman, sophomore, junior year. If they change, yeah. then we don't have to pay. And it's onus is on us to check. But I mean, we still would pay for three. It, it, the, I think right. we all agree that it's a, it's a problem. Uh, and somewhere along the way, I don't know how we resolve the problem. There really isn't a resolution I, other I, than to verify that the kids are signed up for I what they, the they committed to sign up for. We should work with Smith Folk and we should advertise their programs in Boston and Cambridge and Somerville <laughs> uh, and let Boston, Cambridge, and Son of Somerville uh, send those kids out here. It wouldn't be fair for them to. Uh, Tra transport back and forth every day, so maybe they find a place for them to stay when they're out um, here. I think it's Plymouth. Plymouth um, High School takes a lot of the that area in. There's a FAA person that I know, Future Farmers of America, um, that goes around to the different schools. So I think Plymouth is already beaten out on that idea. But I, I did I did talk about this with with the uh, business manager from Franklin County Technical School. They, they've, they've raised the issue, and, and I guess the issue's been raised with the Department of Ed on this particular program. Uh, so it, we'll see, but it's a possibility that it will no longer be available for at some point. Well, I know they were thinking of adding a nursing program, and I think that would it's a really good idea for our kids, but honestly, if if Smith Folk is going to do it, I think Franklin should do it. We do. Franklin Tech. We do. We have a... Pre-nursing program? Not a pre-nursing, but a... Uh, no, they they were thinking of adding... That was why I was... A health flip, program. Yeah, I was flipping out because they were... At, do, the nursing program would, would um, scoot them right into GCC. And some of the classes they'd be taking at Smith Volk would give them actual credits at GCC. So I mean, it's a great program, but I could see a ton of kids going down there and doing it. Why wouldn't you? It's a segue right in. You're automatically right into the nursing program. Maybe, a lot of we, should, maybe we should do it here. Maybe we should do it at Frontier. Mm -hmm. It's a dual enrollment, is what they call it. Well, yeah. they were setting it up so it was like, I can't imagine a better program, but. Right. It was going to be very expensive, and it was highly attractive. And it was going to cost okay. us a lot of money. But any other, any other uh, questions on Article uh, 17? Article 18. So reserve fund for this is this is the reserve fund. This is the reserve fund. It's pretty straightforward. But it's asked oh. Oh, because you have money left over? Is that the idea? So this is just matching? Although some of it's gonna be appropriated and some yeah, is coming out of free cash. Yep, so that's the only reason oh, to write really. down. 
That because changed. we need to raise an appropriate. I tomorrow. believe that changed. And what is 100,000 100, from free cash? Oh, I yeah. see. It's 100,000 still, but we're going to raise an appropriate some of it because we had excess levy. We had, oh, okay, gotcha. All right. Do you still feel comfortable with 100,000? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Year, right? I found yeah. 300. Hmm? I found the free cash. Oh, good. Thank you for verifying. Right. Okay. Article 19. Any questions on 19? Nope. This is the 350th anniversary celebration. <clears throat> $10,000. Article 20. <clears throat> this is going from three years to five years? Is that the reason for the article? Was it five last year? I think it was, I think we did it, yeah, I think it was it last year we changed it to five because of the modern. So we have to renew it every year then? Yeah, every year we would, we do this. So I think it's an article every year, right? This, um, it, it has so, been in the recent past. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Just to get approval. Because it changed from three to five. Correct. Two years ago, right? Yeah. Okay. So that has to be done every year? So what's the difference between article 20 and... 21. We, oh, don't, one's the, we don't know for sure. Okay. One is the select board and one is the assessors. It's just an insurance. It's just if there is a contract that needs to be signed that's over three years. The statute requires if you're going to do a contract over three, you got to take it to town meeting. So I think it's just kind of a placeholder. If you and the assessors actually their um, their recap or not recap, mm, but their quint, um, quint, yeah quint, their uh, research that they have to do their triennial or their whatever that big the thing they do every quintennial. nine years or whatever they um that's Quint a quint quintennial, quintennial recertification or is a multi-year goes beyond the three years for the contract it goes up to five years i quintennial. believe quintennial. quinquennial that's what it is okay yeah. article 22 can I don't understand that that's just that's to rescind the the unused borrowing authority from the um school roof project so it's just releasing it. Back to pretty pretty standard. General fund will be free cash. No, 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 no. It's no. not money. It's just an, it's just an authorization. It's just getting rid of the authority to borrow. Right. The authority to borrow on oh. that debt. So, so the that, estimate right. was much higher than it came in at, at right. bid. Right. And it just kind of frees <laughs> things up for what we need to do with the sewer a little bit. Exactly how the sewer is going to be. What, what, was, what was the original authorization? 2.9 million. Oh, yeah, almost 3 million. Okay. So, and the borrowing was how much? Uh, I, I don't remember at this all. point. I think we had to borrow all the money. Yeah. We did. And we did. then we got paid back. Portion of it. Yeah, yeah, we initially borrowed, uh, if I remember right, 1.5 million to cover things, and then we just kept slowly getting money back from MSBA. Yeah. Um, we just kept reducing that down. So. And we're fully paid back, right? No, oh yeah. no, we we had yeah. <laughs> I think um, what was it, 545,000 that we took out this spring, mm -hmm. and that's what's left on it. No, but. We've been paid all the grant money. We oh, yeah. The grant money's all been paid at this point. Yeah. Yes. What, for the grant, what did we end up getting for that? Because a lot of the things weren't approved. Was it seven? So it was like 911000 or something like that. I don't, I don't have the paperwork in we front of me. We collected 911000 I think so. Well, if the whole project was 1.5 and we got 900000 from them and we're getting 300000 from the private schools... Well, over a period of years. Well, I, I get it. So the roof's only going to cost us a couple hundred thousand dollars. Uh, I, no. I don't. I don't think I that's think correct. More than that. But it, it seems to me that total, the total project was in the two point one or two point million range. Yeah, that's I want to say one point nine million is what we paid. That's that's what I have yeah, in my mind. Whole, right. Yeah. yeah. And there was two hundred thousand in addition to that. That. Uh, For so what? the total project cost for everything was. I could go get that we, if you want. If you want that, that information. No, not no. no. Okay. Okay, unless anybody else. Yeah. No. Not from mine. Yeah, you're, you're tasking my memory. Okay. Do we? 
Okay. So, can we move on? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good on 22. Okay, 23. And this is the one that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Yes. Many questions on this? Nope. Nope. And this is one that we are all in agreement. So someplace along the way, it should, should be noted that the, uh, mm -hmm. this is finance committee recommends. Mm -hmm. So skip just so I understand, 19, 20, 21, and 22, are they supposed to be no. anything or no? Well, 19, 19 yes. yes. 19 no. you did, okay. 20 we don't have to. Okay. And 22, uh, 22, you're just, you're not doing anything, basically. No. Just, okay. 23, we did recommend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got it. Out of curiosity, on 24, <laughs> is every town got the same article? No. Or are we all doing something different? I think we're all doing something different. From what I, I've listened to the slot so meetings, we, uh, Conway is definitely doing something different. Yeah, Con so Conway did, Conway went first, and um, I remember the night Conway voted, Tom Hutchinson emailed me like, what, a mm -hmm. half an hour before the meeting. It yep. was like, what motion are we using? So I think that at that point, I don't know what Conway did, but we did get clar clarification on the motion. So we now we have, and we sent them what, we thought so i think i don't i i can't speak for conway but but now i know this is the motion waitley voted and sunderland's voting i think the 26th and we would have this motion as well so and it's motion. been reviewed by bond council and approved so well, the um, answer is everybody we believe and possibly i think we, at least three of the towns voted okay. it this way and we think conway voted something similar So did the Finance Committee vote on this? No. I myself have a, I struggle with this a little bit as far as the 1.8. And I realize there's gonna be a committee involved for some oversight. So if you take a look at that, you're, you're basically voting to turn over 1.8 million to that committee, to that school district. And once you do that, from that point on, whatever projects that they take on or choose to pursue, uh, I'm just hoping that the makeup of the committee will actually spend the time. Because, uh, you know, there's a lot of people working full time in that. Mm -hmm. And to oversee this, and really uh, go after bids and to make sure that, again, you're spending your money wisely. Sometimes Stretching that's not the easiest account. thing to do. No, and once, once the towns vote this, you, you've basically given them authority of no matter how it plays out. And, and, and I know all of them will be trying to do what's best for the towns. There's no question about it. But at the same time, will they have enough time, free time, mm -hmm. to actually pursue different contractors and different bids and get gathering information? That can be very time consuming. So that's that's my only, I guess my only word of caution here. Yeah, I think that's an excellent point of caution because I think what's going to happen is these projects are what they want to get done and they're going to get done however yeah. way they can be. That's the bottom line. Yeah. There was no discussion when I was there for a long time of, you know, alternatives or, you know, different people. You know, they've got their guys lined up and yeah. when they get the money, they're going to run with the ball. I don't know. 
what is the plan? Are they going to borrow all this money and then we got to pay so much per year? Yeah, I believe yep. that's correct. Yep. I haven't seen a plan on that. Yep. Yep. There is a plan available. Yes. And is the two and a half override on our annual ballot? No. It, is, it is not on our annual ballot. On May, on the agenda for May 1st, um, we have a, we'll have an agenda item for the board to call for the special election. The town clerk would like to do that um, soon and have it before the end of June, around the third week, I think, of June is when we're playing. Before so the schools, be a separate before voting vaca day for this before one vacations article. get yeah. out. This okay. one in the and sewer. 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 And the sewer, so correct. Correct. And mm -hmm. we do those, we're trying to do this before, obviously, you know, vacations begin. Now, does this also, will that also require a two thirds vote? That, the, the Frontier article does not require a two thirds vote because it's not our authorization to borrow. It's no. just an approval of the school's authorization to borrow. But the sewer borrowing does require yeah, a two thirds vote because that's our authorization. And the, uh, when we did the school roof, that required a two thirds vote? Because that was our school roof. Yes. Did it require a two thirds vote? If it was borrowing, it would have. Yeah, should have. I think so. May I, may I ask, yeah, are, are we going to come up with a list of our major projects with dollar amounts that the that best we can do? And if we don't know the number, we don't know the number, but it, you know, if something needs to be done, such as the church over there, where we're going to do the senior center, so on and so forth, I, I just would like to see uh, check sheet where people can look at or fact sheet where people can look at it and see what's coming down the road here in the very near future mm -hmm. well because when we start talking these dollars and you start adding these dollars up we're looking at some pretty big figures yes. and i think people should be aware of i think people should be informed of what we have coming down the road here mm -hmm. and you know maybe maybe uh they'll at least hesitate a little bit before simply approving something and then next year something else comes up and they say well, why didn't you tell me last year because I wouldn't have voted for this <laughs> or vice versa whatever the case may be I would just like to see uh, a fact sheet out there with the larger projects with the dollar amounts so people can actually see what's coming down the line in the very near future and it might be four years, five years. I mean, let's face it, uh, because of the moving targets, even the capital improvement plan, you know, isn't a complete detailed plan. There's some ballpark figures in there. It's as close as we Helpful. as a committee can get it, right. but that's just one plan. I, I'd like right. to see that for the whole town and to see, what we're, see what we're looking at. Yes. If yeah, that's the priorities plan I, versus a capital exactly. plan. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, so I just want to mention, so that was the other thing. So the, we had already talked about um, the board, the, the, cap, the 350th committee is having a public, sort of an, an open meeting for the public, and the board is going to have a meeting that night to also try to connect with the 350th committee the a little eight. bit to get some, some momentum going with that. Mm -hmm. um, and on that May, Eighth agenda will be right after the election. We'll have a talk about goals and priority setting for for that year, right. and start talking about what the process, you know, what they'll. Do the building that. committee and doesn't actually. And then meet. the building committee is also. Yeah. I was going to mention right. working the on a lot of this stuff. Working very hard. You know, right. Right. specifically that you're asking. Right. Right. Coming yeah, down. That's really so. kind of hoping for before town meeting, right? Right. That's what <laughs> well, I was kind of hoping. About before Here, town here's yeah. a handout sheet, and even that's awful short notice when you're handing out a sheet. Where people walking in to go right. vote on articles, you know. And I mean, here we have we're voting 1.8 million for the for Frontier, and then we're yeah. looking to vote 19 million for the wastewater. Besides, besides the budget of you know 16 million. Yeah. Oh, I mean, when I when I look at the payoff, even for that 19 million, I mean, you think about it. It's kids that are now in kindergarten are going to be paying for this sewer 15 years after they graduate from high school. You know, it's yep. And and yep. the building committee's charge is not to come up with anything we discussed this right. evening. Right. right. Correct. Exactly. exactly. We, we have a we have an assessment. Mm -hmm. We're an right. assessment 
yep. of building. Uh, but we don't even have an assessment at this point, Bruce. So. No, but we've had an RFQ for almost three weeks. So. Right. Well, we just have. I, I just think that those. We're done. Things, oh, you didn't put it out. Yeah. Yeah. I just think that those things need to be brought forward, so people in town are aware mm -hmm. of them, and how it could impact them coming down the road. Some of these numbers scare me. Yeah. I'm. I'm mm -hmm. myself. I'm a little concerned about the seniors yep. in this town yep. and whether they're going to I think I have so, so, so we'll be able to handle it. Well, everybody. <laughs> well, everybody. Look at it, just, look at it this way. And I'll, I'll sort of speak for some of the seniors. Yep. I'm not going to live long enough to pay for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's, my, of, it's my grandkids that are going to pay for it. Or more more of my generation. Well, I'm, just, I'm just worried about, about some of the people that we have now being forced out of town because they can't afford it. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a fear that sure. scares walking that balance and it, absolutely we need to get I mean, started and, we're it, and it hurts to do it but right. um, I don't want to wait any longer. Okay, uh, the finance committee has not. Uh, well, we haven't had a chance to discuss this article, so I don't think we're going to vote on it tonight. Which article? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. 25. Any other uh, discussion on Article Twenty-five? <coughs> So no recommendation. No recommendation. And how about 24? No recommendation. No recommendation on that one either. Did we? Unless we did vote that, no. did we ever vote no. that? I don't no. think so. Mm -mm. Never. Never did. Uh, 26. Yes, I had some comments and questions. I think we're going to just pass over 26. Are we? Are you for sure? I'm pretty sure. 26? We can't do anything to it. Wait, for the, what are you talking about? For the, the bylaws? Oh, 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 why can't we? What yeah, the bylaws. Isn't that about, isn't it about changing the zoning? Oh, no, that's not the zoning. Oh, one. no, that's this, the, this, this is, is just the like, posting. That's the posting. This is the right. posting. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I guess my first question would be, that is, <coughs> what is the purpose of changing this? Um, well, actually, this the, the town clerk had drafted this language, and she, my understanding is to be in compliance with Mass General Law, pursuant to Mass General Law, Chapter 39, Section 10. There were some things in the previous bylaw that were in conflict to that. Okay. Well, I guess my, what I'm questioning is, uh, is it... Uh, uh, it, the way this new writing is every town meeting or town election shall be called pursuant to the hands of the select board and there is no other provisions. Section 11 calls if a majority of the selectmen or any less number shall vacate their offices or if the full number shall fail to be elected or qualified the selectmen or office may call a town meeting. If there are no remaining selectmen the town clerk may call it and if there is no town clerk a justice of the peace may call it which is an exception to that. And that, section 12 uh, oh, goes on to say. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what part? Yeah, we're Mass General Law. Yeah. Section Mass General 39. Law? Yes. Oh, okay. And okay. section 12 allows for Justice of Peace to call a town meeting with 100 signatures from the residents if the selectmen fail to uh, uh, call a town meeting. So it looks like this wording that is here that do want to be changed is in direct conflict with the Mass General Laws. Yeah. I think Barbara did mention that there was an exception. So maybe there should be something with the exception. It should say pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 39, Section 10, 11, and 12, or whatever. There should be some reference to those sections 11 and 12, or well, with the exceptions. You <coughs> I remember seeing something that it did say with the exceptions. So in that what section. was your opposition to the full? Well, there again, there's two it, other it, ways. They, they, the, the general laws laws. cover everything. Okay. If all three just walked out the door, right. it means or we can't have anything done in this town because this new bylaw is saying only the select board. No, no, it wasn't intended but, to but be that. Well, it may not be intended, think, but that's think, what's written. But right. that's that's what Chapter 39, Section 10 says, only the selectmen. But yes. what you went, you went to read language. on about yes. the justice of the peace. And Hello, the, yes, and Hello, 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 Section, no, no, that doesn't say Section doesn't 11, say. which is in national laws, uh, the town, if there's no selectmen, if you walk yep. out the door, yep. the town clerk can call. Okay. And Section 12 uh, allows if the, uh, also the select board is not 
totally there. Yeah. Uh, or they refuse to call a meeting. Yeah. A uh, hundred residents can sign a petition uh, and have a justice of peace call a uh, meeting. And what's wrong with those two things? Nothing. We not are. absolutely they're not nothing. Oh, they're not. They're not, they're not what, what, what here is right. saying that you can't. You it's can't just, do she's that. She's only it's, included this. She was trying to she got um, tie it to the law, but I think she. Law. I guess my, she left out those two I guess my recommendation would be this: to be knocked down until there's further discussion. You know, and, and not try. You know, because unfortunately, this is what's happened to too many bylaws: mm -hmm. is they've been thrown on the books at the last minute, and they've come back. To haunt us. Mm -hmm. I agree. Take a copy yeah. of those sections. Sure. And it's in Massachusetts. Or is this only this? The two. The two. The two that, 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 that's, that's not 10. 11 that, that, that's 11 and 12. Mm -hmm. I see. So let me look at all. So. Do we need to Why? discuss this further? or? No. Well, just I, one quick question on it. Why wouldn't we just take over chapter 39 and, and why just section 10? Is it just depending on what fits our town best that you? No. I just received this, so I haven't had time to research. Oh, I guess All I know is this, this, this hit me in the face, and it's like, well, wait a minute now. This doesn't sound right. Chapter 39 might be relevant to other things gotcha. other than yes, calling it is. election. Other calling elections. I see. 10, 11, 12 are specific to that okay. general law. Okay. It happens a lot. They keep adding sections to general laws. Yeah. So they were. So, so right now, more it's appropriate. What, right now, what takes place is that. Um, so I guess my question also is: is uh, is the town election? Is the only the select board can call for a town election as well? I'm not that familiar with that. Just well, I asked if you know. I would. What has um, been a challenge to the administration office is to get the publications in the newspaper. So I wanted just to remove that piece of it. That was my intention because <clears throat> it's costly and it is something that. Um, you know, we weren't, we, we had to postpone a couple uh, specials in the last year because we didn't meet that target. So it also has conflicting information against Mass General Law for annual town meetings. It says you have to post 14 days and you only have to post for seven. seven. So, so I think what Barbara, when I had, we talked about that, Barbara's uh, just wanted, to, yes, wanted to bring it more in compliance with Mass General Law. And I think um, she did mention that there were exceptions. I guess she didn't. Uh, we should include those, as Bruce is saying, we should reference those two exceptions as well. You know, 11, reference 11 12. and 12. However, we Section can. 11, 10, but, 11 but the intent and was to make it in, um, you know, congruent with Mass General Law. It wasn't intended to be, to go against Mass General Law. It was to bring it closer to Mass General Law. And I would think you, you know, the meteor comes down and takes out the three select boards, you'd still want to be able to call an election. Of course, you mean of course. Yeah, we don't want to be restricted by that. Right. Of course. Of course. Well, so we what should, do you mean, we should make sure that the meteor, <laughs> we weren't intending to to restrict it. We carved oh, it a lot. We found what you so there again, well, what you've previously changed in, in the capital improvement plan last year was, uh, you know, deleting the uh, requirement for publication. Uh, no, which is fine, but you've also uh, put in there that that, that uh, to be more to be more visible, uh, that it be posted on a town website and uh, t uh, cable TV uh, access channel to be more visible too, mm -hmm. because it, because you have taken that out totally, and uh, so it, it leaves a very narrow room for posting. You got somebody's got to show up at these five places to see these notices mm -hmm. and that's it. You know, we have other means of technology that would, you know, replace the uh, newspaper better. Yeah, we don't have five places in town anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can post it on the vacant building. <laughs> New town clean. All right. Are you, so have we're the, either made, may the select are making any, are, are you? Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I'm interested to learn a little bit more, Barbara's. Um, so you haven't looked at this yet? Well, not at this one. Uh, I didn't understand the limitations that Bruce brought up of, you know, 
what he's put for so, today. So, so if poss he, possibly then, since the time is short. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably it will pass might be over for tonight, but I'd like to talk to Barbara and hear her. And do it at a, another, just an annual town meeting or at a special town meeting. Well, we'll, we'll see what we may. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see what we can find out. We might be able to adjust here. the motion appropriately. Yep. If that's the case, then can we move on to the next one? Twenty-eight. Petition. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Well, petitioned article. How that's a petition. Problem. We don't care. Petition. It was petitioned by the public with enough signatures, if my understanding. We don't vote anyway. right, How many? Petitioned article. I think it has to be at least ten. All right. Yep. I think they had more than ten. Yeah, I don't. What's the difference between a petitioned article and a citizen's article? It was just the language they Neither, used. Nothing. You're supposed to use whatever the petitioner. Puts in, so yeah. that's what how when the petitioners that put in Article 28 submitted it, they used the word oh, citizens' article. So I left it that way. Okay. And you can see it doesn't really follow the format of the articles because again, you're not supposed no, to. No, needs a public them. hearing anyway before. That yeah. article is not is not a legally acceptable. Article, no, it isn't. So. We're going to have to pass uh, over it, right? Article 27. Eight. 28. What about 20, 27? 27 is a well, non-binding resolution. It's a resolution. Yeah. Is there any problem with it? Not that we're aware of. And All right. What are we doing with 28? Oh, we're going to pass that over. Okay. We, um, we're working with the planning board on this. Yeah. To it's clean that up a little bit more. Right. Okay. No, no. Yeah. No, it's already been. <coughs> Article, Article gotcha. 28. Yeah. Uh, uh, before we uh, go and pass on that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so we're working yeah, with we'll the planning board. They just didn't realize that the planning board wasn't going to have time to do a public hearing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, about that. Yeah. I think, yeah. Quite a it's few going through so. the public hearing process at the planning board. So right. if you okay. do want to talk to that, because it is right. going to be considered, but through the planning board. Right. Yeah. At that. At that there, venue. Before we go in there, I just have a question here on, uh, and I didn't see it. So if it's here, then excuse me. Oh, Typically, there is. Uh, the last article or next to the last article before adjourning yeah, there's something that allows uh, instructions yeah instructions i missed officers. that article i'm sorry it was on the, it was in the okay. draft after the petitioned articles so when i did the warrant i didn't i just didn't catch okay. it i thought You're the petition were in. the end so yeah. i couldn't I, it's not on the warrant so I oh the okay yeah. i didn't put it on the warrant I apologize. I hmm? sent the warrant to several I said Bob Decker will have to wait till next year. Bummer. So no instructions this year. <coughs> so you like, just have to take instructions without a vote. They never followed anyway. No, exactly. You're the chair. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what that gets me? A middle seat. A chair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so if there are no more questions, questions or, uh, do we have an extra meeting? Uh, yeah, no. I do have a question. Yeah. 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 Do we need no. to meet before town meeting? No. You should probably post the meeting, though. Don't you want to do that? For what? You normally just post in case. It. Just in case. Just something in case comes up. Something comes up. Post it for so Monday. Just, just post it for Monday. Yeah. At five. No, yeah, but five. Seven o'clock or six thirty. Six thirty. We're gonna post it. Six thirty. Where are you posting it? Here or, or in Frontier? There. Frontier. Okay. Yeah. So if you would do the same for the for the finance committee, I'd, but I have a question for Brenda. What time? Hmm? I have a question for Brenda. Hmm? Well, so okay. Go on, go on your um, revenue report, uh, Brenda. Um, all these past year. <laughs> taxes, actual, expected, etc. Are those amounts that were have been written off previously, or? Uh... Oh no, no, they're not. They're not written off. Um, let's see, what page are you on? Uh, page one. I'm sorry, in here. Oh, uh, just on page one. Yeah, so, yeah. So you're talking about so so when we have taxes that are that are not paid. Right. Um, there's. Um, uh, there's it's the whole amount of that is deferred so you don't recognize it until you actually receive it right um, so that those fees were still sitting on the books the 2018s so now at the end of this fiscal year Barbara will take whatever's left and put those into tax title yeah of so, the 2018s so, well like the, pro uh, the first line 216 personal yeah, property we, revenue Oh, so the personal property that's that sits on the books until until we write it off because there's nothing 
uh, from what I understand, there's nothing that that they can that they lean. Well, yes, that exactly. They can lean against. So, um, so we collect what we can, and then at a certain point in time, we write off what's. Left. So that's what I'm saying. Is these yeah. top ones are just write offs? 198 uh, expect. Uh, actually, actually, the the 198.88 is what we've collected this oh, year. Oh, really? And the 34. You're still coming in. That made yes. Yes. Wow, without a lien? Wow. <laughs> and, and how those are being collected, um, I, I don't know without talking to Barbara what, what she does to get those. And, and the same with the, uh, tech, the uh, uh, motor vehicle uh, excise and all that? Uh, with the motor vehicle excise, that goes to our deputy collector. Right. And the deputy collector then tries to collect on it. And, and usually if they go to try to buy another vehicle and... Um, yes, right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Their registration. So, so, in other words, uh, uh, she's really collecting Oh, she's doing a great job. Yes. yes. The loss yeah. must be absolutely um, minimal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, before, before we have a motion, before, before you adjourn, um, the cherry sheet numbers are based on the old educational formula. So, the new educational formula is going to be July 1st. So, I think. Um, you know, so our actual reimbursement will be the new formula, which Trevor and I are very nervous about. So mm -hmm. um, I, I think we need to plan to have a meeting um, once we get the figures if they're dramatically different. I mean, the closest estimate, Skip, you were at that meeting, the closest yep. estimate no. was like a three or $400,000 difference. So. You're talking about Chapter 70, or you're talking chapter about Chapter 70? Seven. Seven. The, 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 the governor's budget and the House of Ways and Means budget are all based on the old Chapter 70 formula. Okay. New, however, our reimbursements for July 1st. So, so the, the question then is. Is going to um, be the new formula. When, Nobody when has we, the new formula yet. When we right. someplace. Right. At the beginning of the meeting, we talk about the budgets. It seems to me that there was, there had been in the past, something in there that basically said, subject to everything was subject to whether it was appropriation. I, I know, but and, yes, and, and yes. so I mean, I don't want to. I would hate to go back to town meeting because we are a million dollars. I'm just throwing a number out. No. A million dollars short, have town meeting say, add to it, I don't care. Uh, and not do There's anything. There's more than them enough. And you're time. stuck with what we've got and how we fund it is. Well, no. I, I, if we are in fact faced with that kind of cut, I, I think people need to realize that, you know, the elementary school is going to, we're going to have to have another meeting and we're going to have then to find. We should say something at the. Okay. Uh, I mean. We've been talking about. It. I've been talking about. I know, it for but I'm saying while. we should say something. But we don't have any more information. That, really, that basically says, look, so long as yeah. so long as we have the appropriations, if not, we need we will need to come back and and uh, should do we make running an excess. Uh, we on, have excess funds. On what? In our, bu in our budget, it was the bottom line was minus number two forty one. Oh, I'm not following you. Uh, I have to find it again. On 2020's budget? Yeah. Oh. So, so what are you referring to exactly? If we have excess capacity to uh, in in the budget, we right? have no no excess capacity. What's the in in what we've what we've uh, projected right. at this but point? Right. right now, well, we have 220 of free cash. 200 free cash. something free cash. cash. Yeah, oh, I see what you're yep. getting at. Yes, right. as far as the free cash goes, so, we have 234000 right. left. Right, okay. Correct. I mean, what we would do is probably call a special town meeting once we have free cash certified, and we could make right. up the difference the or fall. something the, in the fall. The, the problem is that if you look at, and I should let Brent talk about this, that we're talking about an estimate, not only for free cash, we're talking about estimate for taxes. We don't know what the hell they're going to be. Right. For local receipts, we've underestimated those in order to buy in the neighborhood of a half a million dollars so that we do carry over that. But we backstopped to buy a half million, which we spent. Uh, 
and uh, estimate for new growth. We're new just, growth it's a shot in the dark. Uh, um, for local receipts, for taxes, and for, what's the third? Cherry sheet. Cherry sheet. So all of those, and not only that, for 2020, we don't know what they are at this point for 19. Right, true. Those are estimates. I know. So, you know. I know, but I, I just, weird. I, mean, I don't think we're going to be terribly well, I mean, hit, but I, I'm, I'm just I nervous no about it. It's really and hard and to I say. don't think anyone really, no one's been able to give us a clear answer. And, mm -hmm. you know. I was at a meeting last week with the chairs of the House and Senate um, education committees in, uh, at the collaborative, and there was discussion about formula fund, and it always uh, moves quickly to charter schools uh, as the subject, um, but they are looking at kind of how to adjust the formula fund, and I think, well, they're doing budgets this week, and I think it's coming up pretty quick. They met with superintendents first, and then they met with finance uh, selectmen and, and uh, school committee members uh, selected, and then, so it's going to be um, a little bit before we know, but they're, it's going to change, you know, pretty quick, and they're looking at, you know, some towns that, um, say I'll just pick out Wellesley, that could, you know, that it certainly pays way more than they need to to fund their education. Um, Basically, we, do, we also do we, that We too. also do that, too. So, so those are the towns where, you know, the money's got to, they don't have another pot of money, so it's just kind of, ju you know, juggling where, where, who's, you know, if they're giving more money than a town that really needs it, then they'll kind of take it and move it to a town that, Mm -hmm. is not anywhere near and and we're we overfund our education so um, oh, well, rightfully so it's not overfunding uh, but we we also we pay a per capita cost uh, that exceeds what capita cost paid by other when they first started this formula when they first committee. right and they first started this formula budget a process or reform or whatever you want to call it they were talk, talking about adding extra money from the millionaires tax well that got pulled because mm -hmm. it was illegal so um or deemed illegal so we're talking about the same pot of money and they're promising i mean the meetings that trevor and i went to in boston i mean they were just talking about funding urban schools and you know some of the schools that were failing and or had problems um and there was a couple out here the majority of them are in the eastern part of the state however so you're taking the the same pot of money and you're moving it, mm -hmm. and you're moving money from basically, I feel, from us east. And, mm -hmm. you know, so, and, and Skip was at that other meeting, and, it, and we just looked at the rough figures, and it was like three or 400,000 right. a year. And, I mean, that's just right off increase to us. That's, but that's what they look at, because, uh -huh. because we, yep. we're funding more than what we need. No, they're fun they're, what they're doing it on is based on the fact that they're classifying us as a, quote, wealthy, wealthy community. community. Right. Right. And so and that's why we were working, working on some of the... Schools. That was a change in the 90s, too. It always hasn't always been that way, where they, they did it on personal income. Right. No, you know, changed it's, it. it. Right. It was, You're right. So, so we've, we, uh, they're looking at that again to see. And I said, well, in certain areas, you know... That money doesn't, you know, could because of zip codes, it could be taking in a different section of town or other towns, and, and Which so is it's the not problem always accurate. Always out here. I mean, there are a lot of zip codes. It's a, oh, yeah. that it's are an shared. issue for yep. like Buckland and Shelburne, where they're, you know, all under one yeah, zip code, but same, it's two towns, situation. and their economic development is all in one section. So yeah. it's very so complicated. So anyway, well, you know, if if we are significantly hit. You know, we'll do everything we can, obviously, to protest. Unfortunately, we're going to be getting less money. And when, yeah. do you, when do you think uh, we should have that, you know, just discussion before the ominous budget? Should somebody make a statement about, you know, again, this is all, you know, well, estimated? Know. Where, where, or, where has that been done? It seems to me I've seen that in the past, and I thought I saw I don't it, recall it but, where we indicated that uh, the budget... Yeah, I remember it too. But I don't and there used, like, used to be yeah. an article that said that the budget was 
contingent upon cherry yes. sheet revenues. Right. Appropriations. And that may have been in the uh, omnibus budget portion, or mm -hmm. it may have been at the it, very it was beginning a separate, of the meeting. It was a separate article. Oh. An actual separate article in the in the, huh. in the We have some basis warrant. for protests, so we'll obviously we'll try to hustle to protest any cuts. But if we could educate people. But we need to, I, I think people need to be aware this could be a problem. I, I mean, it really, yeah, really, no, I, really I makes me worried, that's all. So, <coughs> from everything that, all the meetings that we've been going to mm -hmm. and trying to figure out, it just, there's no way that we wouldn't be hurt. So, I don't know. It's kind of depressing. Because they're already not funding us um, well. I mean, we're down to like 21% of the cost of our students or something. Was, and that was when we were protesting when I first was a they, selectman. They did we were that protesting. 15, 20 years ago. Yeah. I know. They we keep were, cutting you. They don't yes. give you any extra. Exactly. Well, we were, we Every were year protesting they cut you more. 36 and 37 percent. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the, the legislation drop. right now in the Senate is called the Promise Act, and that's hopefully, you know, instituting Just the changes. Like the transportation costs. Yep, that's Same part of it. Scenario. If you look at the Promise Act, that's part of it is fully funding regional transportation. You know, uh, fully funding the circuit breaker for special education, and then also um, a couple other things there too. But adjusting the formula mm -hmm. fund and taking the recommendations of the of the committee that ran uh, looking at formula funding. So, so they vote for all of these, and then of course the the budget, the numbers that are in the budget, what holes? So I give the legislatures, leg members of the legislature, the opportunity to say, you know, I voted in favor of. Mm -hmm. Yep. Except that when the, but the money's know, when not the money is not there, it's hard. I know. Yeah. So. I just, okay. Okay. I didn't, we don't need to belabor it, but I, I just have been really concerned about it, and I, I felt felt like, you know, Trevor verified that it's the new formula for July first, and so that, that from, if it passes, but I assume that they're going to have something figured out by so budget. Can we entertain a motion to adjourn? So I think we'll, what you got to okay. do is just tell them when they get the information, relay it to you, and you figure out when you need the next meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, we could plan way ahead. If we know it's going to be shortly after July, we could just schedule something. I'm, I'm always in favor of planning way ahead. <laughs> Especially I really... when it comes to summer. Okay, yeah, plan it on every Tuesday, and if we don't make it, we'll just cancel. <laughs> <laughs> so so we'll, we'll get some more we, we go very infrequently throughout the whole year except for four months yeah so we'll post meetings for every tuesday from here until the end of the year and then we'll cancel them i mean I'm, I'm serious like yeah. my schedule is booking yeah into september for for yeah. evening meetings yeah so if we know we need a summer meeting we could pick even a yeah, couple I, dates you should probably pick something and in then july just block you know because otherwise right? i don't get when do they have as much budget? chance to attend the meeting. I mean, I'm, I'm dead serious. I have meetings Something in July. In October. Well, we probably have a, a couple barbecue. meetings. Yeah, a couple we meetings. We anticipate you're busy. I mean, you know, <laughs> if you guys year, are busy, no problem for you to block it now, right? I haven't heard of any. Uh, <laughs> Let me pick when we have do, it. Do you, Brenda, do you see Unless any need for a reserve transfer of in anybody's budget, I went through them pretty well today. I didn't yes. see anything coming to um, you other than legal. Legal, legal. will need yeah. uh, will need some money. Um, so we could set that meeting. Right. We're we're a little over on the carpet tile, but Kevin has uh, told me tonight that he would just take it out of uh, miscellaneous repairs. Sure. Sure. The, yeah, the well, difference. I saw that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't remember if there was anything else, but legal definitely is, is mm -hmm. negative. So I just I figured we'd wait until we knew what that really was going to be. Before Closer to the in. end. Okay. Yeah. So I would. So I'll make a motion to adjourn. So we won't set any meetings. So I would. Do you, did you want? Well, did, do we have yeah, any? Do you have a date that you want to set a meeting for? Well, maybe. Yeah. When do your reserve transfers I, have to happen before June? That's 1st? No, no. Um, oh. Somewhere between May first and July fifteenth. Oh. So usually we start to address those mid June. Yep. So a meeting towards so, the end of June or something. Yeah. June 18th or June. Um, I won't Later. be here the 18th. How about the 25th? If we're going to set a set a meeting with the idea that we're going to take care of any, then do you want to do it in June? Or do you want to do it in July? Well, I'd rather do it in July yeah, when we really say. know what the yes. what the issues are going to be. 
All right. Yep. Let's. Um, July. Are you going to if, if you only want to do one? Right. Are you, are you going to want to have a meeting before the debt exclusion votes occur? Between now and the end of June? Oh, no. How about July 9th? Yep. Tuesday. That's what okay. I got. Sounds good. Let's okay. Done. Uh, I don't think I'll be done. Oh, you won't. Six. Just send out an email. After dark. Shoot. <laughs> wow. We could be back late. from vacation. So on do you want to make that um, uh, a joint meeting? We don't need uh, four transfers. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is the Unless we have some information, we'd maybe tag yeah. tag on with yeah, it. But. I was going to say that's not well, going to we'll be. I was just going to say terms terms end June thirtieth. Yeah, right. education stuff. Yep. Terms end June thirtieth. As far as appointments, they're going to yep. be able to appoint people by July 9th? It's the, it's the moderator. That's, that's the moderator. That's good. Well, that's, I'm, just, I'm just wondering. That's that's a that'd be a concern if you're voting on items. No, if you got two, three people gone, the other four can still run a yep. meeting. Right. Yep. That's right. No problem. There we get a lot of redundancy built in here. Yep. So we what's the vote? We need a second to adjourn? I made the motion. I don't I'll care. Second. Move, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? 6-0. Uh, no. No. we got stuff to do. Yeah, we have another thing we have to vote. I know. Oh, and oh. We have stuff Skip. to do. I guess I'm just. We do. The yes. recommendations, yes, do. when you put no you recommendations, do you want me to put right. no recommendations um, in there, or do you want to go through those? Yeah, we don't have an agenda, so we're going to wing it. You said it specifically one time. You wanted it what to say got? no recommendations. The other times. Yeah. yeah, we have it. If it's not on the agenda. I don't think you can take a vote if it's not on the agenda. What do you got, though? Oh, these are contracts for. Right. For, um, I'm not going to put anything there. This no. is a, a Comcast agreement. and uh, um, Oh, Comstar for Comstar, the, I'm sorry. Comstar the, for yep. the ambulance thing. Yeah. And it's a new contract where they lowered our rate down to 4%. Well, and when we approve it, then we can just go the get ones. the 4%. It's yeah. six point two. We can't well, sign this now. Adam, but I'm going to send them to you need to a vote from us? Can I read it? I yeah, sure. I haven't, had it. I haven't seen it. Yeah, let me just, last, do you want me to make some copies? Let me make some copies. We're still going. Do we have yeah. an agenda and are these items on the agenda? Yes, we do. Okay. And yes, we okay. have a okay. point agenda and those items are on it. Okay. Great. I don't have it with me. All right. Sorry, but just oh, no, that's all right. We're not going to be here that long. No, we just have to make a motion to vote these. See you guys later. I'll be, yeah, I'll be in probably about 11, I'd like to uh, or so review these motions, and why don't we all send uh, something to Diana on which ones we're going to read. So okay. Okay. We just, yeah. Between, like, say, 11. We usually just go one, two, three, four. I mean, one, two, three, <laughs> one, right. two, three. I'd prefer not to do 24 or okay, 25. We'll the two, those are the ones to do with the I'll sewer and stuff like that. Oh, no, Trevor can do Trevor can do it. We could back off. What we could do is um, sign Trevor. Um, well, what I, what I suggested to Carol is that I'll let you know which motions I can read and then she can read. And you know, okay. we used to go like that. You Trevor, I mean, there's some that I'd, I'd prefer not to introduce because I'm, I'm, I might not be supportive of it. So I feel okay. it's kind of funny if I read the thing like I'm supporting I it. I understand. You yeah. let me know and yeah. I'll put them on there. Trevor was going to do 25. Okay. I don't know who. Or, I don't know who should do 24 because I don't think any of us. The Frontier article. Why don't you read it and, and I'll let alienate well, it. Trevor's. Afterwards. Oh, he's on the locals. Okay. He's Trevor's making us copies of that. Uh, Maybe I'm Trevor sorry. will do 24. Too. This. Uh, All right. Well, we'll ask him. Car oh, good night. I you, hope Carolyn, you feel this better. No, no, no. Please feel better. I'll oh, see you tomorrow. I'm so sorry. I hope you're okay. I Carolyn, this thing for advanced collections options, do you, did you understand this? Yes. Okay. No, all that is, is is we're agreeing to use their collection agency. Right. That's what I thought. And, and it's seamless. To, they're the billing agency. Yeah. So going to their collection agency, they're motivated to collect. Okay. So what? We could talk more about that.
Okay. Yeah. I'd like to visit with you a little bit more about that. Yeah. Just, just well, give you well, some minutes. Uh, we're going to wait until after town meeting. Yeah. I mean, it will be for the next budget year anyway. Obviously. Obviously. But I just so. have some, you know, some thoughts on that. The okay. The only thing I'm worried about is if we have two standards that it might be thrown out. Exactly. And so um, I, if, if I don't have any problem if the finance committee wants to go up on OPEB because we're way underfunding it. Yeah. But you can't charge, you can't, I don't, I'm, I'm just think, saying, I don't think it will be legally, you can't charge one set of employees one number and one set another number, even though it's. But I don't think we're charging any employees any amount. We're just setting money aside as a, as a community. They're seen as our. Correct? Right. So, so previous years, they just set more aside. It's not like it's a it's a part of a yearly budget. It's yeah. Yeah. I I just we're gonna have to see what we can allow to do. I mean, we've been talking about it, but we'll get it sorted out for this next year. I just wanted to get the Diane, lease done and get that sorted out. When, there was and, no one particular. You, so you got all these the contracts to sign. Now. Yeah. Any one of those, them we can those do. Those were the only two. Those were okay. the two things I had. So, Diana will for that. So yeah. Not long. Not long. A couple minutes. About what? Oh. Okay. Um. All right. I I just need to, I need to get home my. My drugs are running out. So right now the percent's what? <laughs> six and a half or six, six and a quarter? No, I, have, I hurt my knee again, nice. so. Okay. Uh, well, that's good to hear. Sitting here is not good. And it's an additional um, collection. Right. A more robust collection, right? Yep. Uh, okay. Hey, so when do you want to make a motion or? I'll make a motion that we um, sign a contract with Comstar to um, reduce our rate from 6.25% of our receipts to 4% of our receipts. And for the years uh, 2019 through uh, it's a three year period. getting paid May 1st, 2019, and for the three years ending April 31st, 2022. Yep. yep. I'll second the motion. motion. Is there any further discussion? All those nope. in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, great. Okay, that's great. Now make a motion that we. Um, uh, Sign an agreement. Sign is it an agreement or a contract for the Comster co Collection Agency? Is it is it an actual contract or is it just agreement that we it's want a, that it's option? It's an additional service it's for an yes. advanced collection okay. agency. Um, then it's an agreement of services. Yes. Uh, yes. So then I make a motion. Or, or are you doing yes. 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 We're going to make an additional. Have them um, be our collection agency, so we're asking them to be a collection yep. agency. Yeah, it's agreement for services for advanced collection agency services. And that's different than this. Yeah, it's still number. at the rate of four percent, or is this a different? No, that's a um, well, it, that's a little different. See, this different. this is for them to do all the billing and yep. stuff like that. Gotcha. Okay, yep. that's billing. That's this done. is a collection agency for people who don't pay their bills. Mm -hmm. right. It goes beyond the like 120 days. Uh, 120 days is normal for mm -hmm. like insurance companies, yep. and so this is for the ones that go beyond the 120 days. And what the, and, uh, And how does this, um, have we talked about this with the SCEMS and how did it um, match up with the policy that we put in place at SCEMS last year? Zach's the one that brought this forward and okay. he said it worked so they well. Would, yes. it, it melds in with, because yes. I know yeah. we talked about that yeah. whole procedure. And Okay, so if everyone's on board with it. Um, I'm fine with that too, right? So did you second that? Uh, I'll second that. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, this is business not anticipated. Um, I just got an email from MEMA today that they've extended the hazardous mitigation yeah. grant proposal to um, August. 
June. 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 Okay. Yep. Yep. Right. So we, I'm going to call Zach. So we may have yep. a chance to get yep. in for that other may. stuff that we were going to back Maybe. off on. Yeah. So yeah. Happens. Instead of waiting for the August right. August date, we'll go okay. for the June one. I wonder why they extended it. They must not have had enough people. Which is really too Maybe bad. Maybe other people had the same problems we had. Just and getting it done in time. And, yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a, it's a lot it's of a documentation for their announcements. Right. right. So. That very well could have happened that they just didn't, didn't have, have enough, enough to put together. together to make any big announcements. Good. Oh, that's great. That's okay. Wonderful. Yeah, that's yes. really good if yeah. we get a chance to get in there. Yep. Good deal. So, um, but I, I, I would call I Zach and I'm on a call um, Sarah just, White yeah. at Nima because she agreed to help much. us. Right. So I'll say, hey, I'll say a bigger opening now. yeah, any so maybe you honest? could start making some dates to come out okay. and do a visit and a tour. I don't know the, she, the she's really nice, so, I'm so just, yeah, uh, I, Zach I don't really I don't remember her, but she remembers me, so okay. I, I feel like we could, you know, she'll come out and really work with us. Great. Okay. So Now you can make your motion to adjourn. Now I'll make the motion to adjourn. Second that motion. All as those long as you favor. guys are okay, you are okay with the hazardous mitigation. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, we oh, knew okay. we had to hold yeah. off, yeah. but if, there, if yeah. I saw the email today, if we can yeah. move yeah. that on, that's okay. great. Okay, great. Okay. All of Thank you. Bye. Good night.